welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Well, tonight we have Karen Davies. Can you see her? She's just off the camera there. <laughs> so tonight we've got Karen Davies in the kitchen. We love having Karen here. So last week she rang me, well, messaged me, then rang me about her new mould that was coming in. And I was surprised when you rang me just right on the hook, on the cuff like that. Yeah. But she did want it. You, I think you wanted it for Christmas, didn't you? And it did yeah, 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 yeah. So anyhow, she's brought out a brand new mould. And I have to say it's fabulous, as per usual, as Karen's mould. And you always get all the lovely little extra bits on it, which I'll let go through it with you. And um, and then I thought, well, how is she going to use it then? Because it's a, a winter Christmas mold, this one. Well, there you go. That's why she's so clever, because she's come up with some amazing ideas. And she's going to share them all with you tonight. Now, we've got Simon on camera. Hi, Simon. Hi, Carol. So I just want to pop you in for a little treat. Go on down the other end of the kitchen, Karen. Well, go right down here. Oh. Because he's made me a little happy bunny. Oh. Just look at this spot. Come on, Simon. Oh dear me. <laughs> You're not going red there, are you? I have gone red, haven't yeah. I? Yes. <laughs> Good evening, shame. viewers. <laughs> he's had a shave and he's dyed his beard a lovely Valentine's red. It is, especially oh, for you guys. And I thought it was for me. No, it's for them. <laughs> So as well, they, so, they, they ask for this, so I've given it them. Yeah, it so it's just for you. I have to say, this is the best I've seen his beard yet. <laughs> <laughs> I had to laugh, he came in, he said, go on, what do you think? And I went, oh my God, oh, I really like that. That's not, it's still a bit too long there. So but do you know what? I really like that now you got rid of all that. I can't say it, I did swear. That stuff there, he went, Carol, that was hair. Oh, well, I'm glad you got rid of it. Anyhow, but he's got rid of it and he's made it a much nicer colour because we've had to deal with this sort of ginger, greeny, orangey, God knows whatever colour beard for the last few weeks. Been awful. So much better. Did you notice his glasses go with it as well? No, I didn't. Nothing more. Did you? They look pink there, though. What? They look pink. They're kind of pinky. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Well, maybe it's the colour glare of your beard. I wasn't wearing them. But you're not wearing the glasses, here. I can't. They're for reading. <laughs> Oh, he's got pink glasses on behind there. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm going to get out of the way now. Let Karen come back and let's have a great night. I'm on comments. Ask her whatever you want and um, she'll tell you about everything. Uh, uh, you can uh, come on back. I mean, I really just wonder what he was doing then. The, they do look the, pink, don't the they? They're pink leopard print, yeah. Yeah, very pretty. Very pretty. That's my underpants. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh no, too much information. You don't even want to get into that conversation. We ended up in that conversation the other yeah, day. I'm not yeah. quite sure oh, how. Oh. <laughs> right, where do I start? It's only five past eight, isn't it? I can't be talking about that. <laughs> okay, right. This is the mould for this evening. Okay, we're going to... It's Should mainly... A bit, oh, down it. a bit, up a bit. Um, yeah, this is the new... Nordic gnome mould or gonk mould, whatever you want to call it, but we call it Nordic gnome. Um, these little fellas or, or girls, we've got girls as well today to show you, have been around now the last few years in the shops. The shops have gone crazy for them, haven't they? Um, but mainly at Christmas. But we want to show you a gnome is not just for Christmas. I know. <laughs> well, not just for I know. No, not just for Christmas. Okay. But I'll start with Christmas. I'll show you some of our uh, Christmas ones because I know it's been and gone, but I'll show you quickly um, some of the gnomes we've made in the Christmas sort of theme. There we go. Now that one, you see there, he's just been painted for this little pattern on him here. That's nice. Just very simple, just little zigzags following the knitted pattern on his clothes and then little red dots. So that's a nice, easy, easy, easy one to do. Okay, and of course you can do cookies, as with all our moulds. Okay, now these two, I mean, there's different ways I'm going to show you through the demonstration anyway, where you can do them with arms, without arms, with legs, long legs, short legs, just feet, you know, whatever you want to do. So there's lots of different little accessories with them you can add to them. These cookies were made, um, I added everything to them before I baked them, the beard and the feet and everything but we've now found it's better to bake the feet separately but I'll explain all that as we go as we go on and then another two here these are quite pretty a little Christmas little Christmas ones again I love these two I think these are really cute in the just lustered sparkle and painted yeah, silver gold and that, white yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. on their magic sparkles edible glitter okay so that's nearly Christmas over. I'll show you one cake. I've only made one Christmas cake 
because I just had to for the photographs yeah. on the leaflets. We have to, yeah. Yeah, yeah when we, you know, we've got to show which um, we've got to show different cakes with them, obviously for all the different um, occasions. So there we are. There's the Christmas again. If you pop it down, just down pop it a bit. Down, yeah, you can to, tilt. So that camera. <laughs> oh, there we are. <laughs> I've got so many cameras here, I never know which one I'm, which one I'm doing. I'll get, I never get used to it, do I? So that's similar again, just painted, the clothes are painted on. They've got their long legs on there. Okay. And this is our snowflake mould here. Because sugar snowflakes around I'm the bottom. Mold. Yeah, I love that mould. Yeah. Beautiful mould, Just the individual snowflakes. And then I just made some stars on the top there to stand up from the sugar snowflakes again. So that one, they'll probably be back here at Christmas for you to see mm -hmm. again when we've got more Beautiful. cakes. You know, that's the only Christmas cake we've got at the moment. Now, um, is it Saturday, Sunday? Sunday, Valentine's Sunday. Day, yes. yes. I know it's a bit late now for Valentine's Day, but we've got another cake here. Again, we did for the photographs for the website. It looks fantastic, it looks so pretty, doesn't it? So, yeah, that's just done with the red and pink. Boys and girls. Um, the holding flowers or a little envelope with a heart on so that's a nice cute cute one and of course a, one of these or a couple of them would be nice just on the top of an eight inch round cake you know mm. you don't have to do these big cakes they're very trendy at the moment aren't they the tall yeah very are. tall one tier cakes um so i'll bring in these here to show you she's lost her foot i love the colors you've done there that way Okay. Have you blended the colours of these? Um, Alice did some of them. I can't remember who did what, to be honest. <laughs> no, we just um, we just made so many gnomes the last week or two. You so know, there's yeah. some that are suitable for Valentine's Day there, just a bit different down a bit. Yeah. Um, just with those little decorations on. Just a quick question. Who mm -hmm. do you stock your malls to in Southern Ireland? Is it Stuffy Cakes? Um, yes, they've got right. them. Yes, yeah. So, call, call her Stuff for Cakes in Ireland, mm -hmm. stock Karen's Malls. Have they got there this is, one in? There's a delivery due in, it's just left us. Right. So, it will be there very soon if they haven't. Yeah, yeah it will So, be go there to soon. Stuff for, if you're in Southern Ireland, go yeah. to Stuff for Cakes. They've yeah, got it. They've got a good range there. Yeah. So Don't ask us at the moment for Southern Ireland. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very <laughs> tricky, isn't it, with all this the Brexit business or oh, nightmare. Um, right, I'll just show you the mould again. I didn't really show you everything on it because these gnomes under here have got so many different things on. I'll explain what's on here. Obviously, here you've got your gnome, the, the main body of the gnome, okay? Now, we've got a beard. There's a little beard. Or we've got a plait. So you can do the plait, single, two, three, whatever you want. And there's a little bow there to put on the on the plaits as well. Now this here that looks like an ice cream cone is his, is his arm. Okay, that's his arm, one arm. And this is the leg, one leg, or just the foot. So, you know, you can mould the whole leg or just the foot. Then for Valentine's Day, we've got the envelope and we've got a little blossom. Where is it there? Little blossom and leaf to put with the, do a little bunch of flowers or whatever. Then Valentine's Day as well, we've got hearts, three little hearts, all with the knitted, embossed with the knitted pattern on them. Um, also Easter, there's an Easter egg. Um, what else? Now Christmas, we've got two Christmas trees, two stars, and holly. Have I missed anything? <laughs> there's so much to look at on there's this, loads. it's so hard to see. Yeah. The envelope. Oh, I missed, I've said that for Valentine's Day, but yeah. you can do it for Christmas as well, just put a little star on the back yeah, of it they can or send a little the Christmas tree Santa, can't they? yeah <laughs> or put dear santa on it or whatever um and i missed when i said easter the easter egg there's also bunny ears little bunny ears which i'll show you um because i'm just going to make the first one as an easter rabbit or whatever um oh yeah and snowflakes there two little snowflakes as well for christmas so it's a bit sort of Christmas over there, there. I was trying to find everything then. I've got to be honest, Tricky. what I love about your mm -hmm. moulds, when you design a mould, mm -hmm. all the extra little bits that come on it is great. It's not just like a Nordic gnome. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Let's make it into a girl. Yeah. Let's add some other features. Let's add this, let's add yeah. this. Yeah. Without having to buy yeah. any more moulds. I just thought I'd better fantastic. show you what's on it yeah. because I'm showing you all these little gnomes 
and you like you look at them and think, yeah. oh, where did that come from? You yeah. Know, but now you know everything you Things. see on them is on awesome. the mold. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Everything. Well, they're all absolutely loving it. Oh. Uh, you've had a few congratulations for your recent 60th birthday. Oh no! <laughs> did you share that? Did you share your video with everybody? I know you no, shared it to me. No, I didn't know what to do with oh, that. Oh, you should have, Karen. Should I? I'll, I'll, so yeah. Alice, um, Alice, uh, Karen's oh. daughter, contacted <laughs> um, ourselves and several other people and asked us, would we like to wish Karen a message for her birthday? So we did a little message in here, oh, and it yeah. was a great video. Karen yeah. sent it to me on the day. It was absolutely fab. But the winner of all winners of the videos <laughs> was Karen's mum. mum. <laughs> she was absolutely hilarious. They just couldn't get her to say things at the right time. Yeah. And she didn't know when the video was going. And she went, oh, are we, are we, are we going? Is it on? Am I on? Yeah, am I on? And she, it was just like, what do you call it when he's Takes, taking... outtakes. Outtake. Like, take, take one, then someone else. But take two, take, take three. Oh, take it was four, so funny. About, take seven or I eight. I was crying, it? laughing. It was just so, so funny. Yeah. So I think oh. Karen should share it, really. I will. She should, she should share yeah. it. Share it into our group. It's I'll funny. Put it, yeah, I'll put it on. I will. Yeah, share on your own page. It's brilliant. Yeah. So oh. lots of congratulations. So mm -hmm. Karen turned 60 in December. So <laughs> we may as well tell you, because when you see the video, you'll understand why. <laughs> but it was brilliant. Um, what else are they saying? They're saying that they love the mould and you're very oh. clever for thinking of all the other bits. And um, the 50-50 on Simon's beard. Some <laughs> love it, some still hate it. So oh. some say it's a massive improvement, some absolutely love it, and some are with me, the beard has got to go. But I can cope with this beard. I am, I've got to be honest, oh, I can cope with this. thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, we got rid of all that, rid of all that other stuff. And the beard is much better colour. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so that's it. And some of you are asking me, what am I eating? I tell you, you've got ears like orcs, you lot. <laughs> so I am here trying to quietly crunch chocolate. Yeah, but you were, you were talking before with it in your mouth. Oh, was I? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't oh, say of it. It is a sort of chocolate themed <laughs> evening again tonight. So, so I am chocolate. eating chocolate, but I'll try not to answer any questions <laughs> while I've got some. <laughs> okay, I've just, I, I almost forgot the three gnomes I had out on the, at the front here. So if you want to sort of look at these again here. Okay, I've done a few different ones. Um, so these were, these were the four that were out before and then I've moved these three down. I love that one with the long legs. Which this one yeah, here, the Christmas so cute, one, well, I decided to cross his legs over. Yeah, but they're so cute. Instead of just straight, because yeah. you saw them on the cake before, yeah. just straight. So it would look nice with his legs crossed. And there, I've bent his arm as well. You can, you know, so you can position them to hold things or yeah. do whatever you want. Okay. And um, then these two here, I've used, you know, the little black pearls, yeah. the edible pearls. Oh, yeah. The little eyes. Yeah. And I think that you either love them or hate them, those eyes. <laughs> I, think, I thought they were quite cute when I saw them. I think they're quite cute Alice as well. doesn't like them, but I thought they were quite cute. It's just for something different, you yeah. know. And I've done this one with arms, that one without arms. Mm -hmm. they're, they're all different, aren't they? So yeah. when you see them in the shop. Well, I have to say they're fantastic. Yeah, and it's nice you get these little buttons as well with them on that one. Um, and you see there the plaits. I wanted to do like bigger plaits on that one so I thought oh, I'm not moulding six so I'll just cut them in half <laughs> put them on. I think they look fantastic. Um, yeah that one I just use a piping nozzle. That, I've cheated on that one that's the only thing not off the mould the spots yeah. but you couldn't put a spot well, on a mould obviously. Can you? So they're just from pipe, a piping yeah. nozzle. Just and everything's out. got a round piping nozzle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's them. Well, so I have I'm, to say, Karen, yeah. everybody on here is saying that they absolutely Aww. love them. Oh, absolutely good. love them. So and do we. <laughs> as per usual, they're all looking forward to this demo. Aww. And everybody says, and um, quite a lot mm -hmm. of people saying that they can't, can hear me eating because they've got earphones in. And, oh. and Tracy says, Carol, you deserve chocolate. Yeah. Never get a break. <laughs> So <laughs> you've got to keep you, you've got to keep awake and alert, haven't you? Tonight? Yeah, well, I was so working till half past eleven last night. Then I was out oh, the building oh, early this morning, and yeah. I've, I actually haven't oh, stopped today. Oh, and I've had the grandkids as well. Oh gosh! <laughs> right, what colour mould shall we do? Gnome should say. What I was going to say what colour mould? <laughs> yes, what colour gnome shall we have? Got so many. Yet. I just grabbed this bag of colours to bring out with me. And they um, love it how all your moulds are so versatile. Yeah. Oh. I don't know how you sit there I'll do and a think grey. Yeah, I'll do grey. Oh. Yeah, grey. Grey's the end colour, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, the sort of the gnome cakes are so popular, aren't they? Because oh. they're so they're popular everywhere in yeah. all the shops and everything. So uh, I need yeah. to get flash. So well. just while Karen's getting organised, I want to tell you a couple of things. When you're ordering on our website now, can you make sure that your name is as it is on your credit card or debit card? Can you make sure the address is exactly the same address that you registered with the, at the bank? 
can you make sure your postcode is correct so if you give your postcode at the bank with a space in it, make sure it's the same. And the reason I'm telling you this, which I'm really very sad to say, in the eight years we've been trading, we've just been conned out of £2,000 in fraudulent transactions. And it looks like there's more. So it looks like we've been spammed all over the Christmas period. And we're very sad, John and I, about it. We've worked very hard. They are on large orders and it's from the same person using lots of stolen cards mm -hmm. so unfortunately i've had to put really high security onto the onto the account now so if you get booted out it's because you've done a typo or you've not whatever your but whatever the details is the bank has it has to be exact for that so please don't moan about it the other thing is i do want to ask you know if you ever got something put in your basket and you didn't order it can you just do a bit of an honesty thing and let us know? And I've also had something else happen to the website. Somebody has gone into the website and reduced a load of products. We don't know how, but the website has been hacked and they've reduced a load of products to £1.89. And what has upset me tonight, I've just come in and I've just told Karen, I'm absolutely devastated. A lot of people bought products at £1.89 and they're not £1.89. Mm -hmm. And if anybody has bought them, I'm not, I know who they are because, and they haven't bought them maliciously, believe me, they've just seen them, wow, that's a bargain on the website. But if you've bought them, I would really appreciate if you'd be kind enough to email the office and say, listen, I didn't know what the price is. You don't have to, you don't, you know, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. something's happened on our website, we accept that. But it, I will be sending emails out to all those people to say, look, you know, this has happened and if you could be kind enough just to rectify it, I'd be very grateful. But, you know, it, and this has happened for the first time in eight years and I can't tell you how devastated I am because we work really hard. And, um, and sometimes, like I had a lady message me last week, she got something free in her box and she said, Carol, I didn't order this. And I said, it's all right, don't worry about it. She <laughs> said, no, I insist on paying for it. I said, well, I'll go halves with you then. She said, no. I want to pay for it. I didn't order it, but I don't want to get. I want to. I'm going to keep it, and I want to pay. And yeah, we we ended up disagreeing. But she went on the website, ordered it, and put a note in the comments not to send it because she'd already got it. And I would just really appreciate that if you've got something in your order that you didn't order, would you just be kind enough or honest enough to think, you know what, sugar and crumbs really works hard. You know what? Why do I want to keep it? Let's give the office a ring and pay it back. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's all I'm going to say negatively tonight, but I just need to say it. But I'm think I, I'm, I'm just very upset at the amount of fraud that's happened over the Christmas period. And um, unfortunately, it's somebody who's stolen cards and they've had it shipped to a warehouse that then distributes out of the country. That's how clever they've been. So I don't know how much more of it we've got coming, but things like that can actually bust a company. So if you can help us out, and if, if you've got anything yourself that's come in the post, please just rethink. I won't have any bad feelings, but you know what? Just message the office and say, look, I think this was put in by mistake. What can we do about it? We'll be very fair. All right, then. That would be brilliant. Right. And if any of you bought anything at £1.89, can you please come back to me? <laughs> oh. Thanks. Right, I've just put cornflour in the mould, okay? And tap it out so there's not too much. Now, first thing I'm going to do is put his nose in. So you do whatever colour you want for his nose. Okay, this is just a little bit of peach and pink mixed together. So just make sure it's nice and smooth. And please tell me if my head goes like this in the way. <laughs> I do have a habit of doing that. Okay, so his nose is in. If it feels dry and not sticky enough, just put a tiny, tiny little bit of water or glue onto the back. Not too much, you only want a little touch. Okay, so I'm going to do the trim in this nice pink, this hat trim. So this is our sugar paste, our own sugar paste. And I was using that this oh, week. Oh, were you? Good. Yes, and I've got to be honest. Mm -hmm. And can I just ask you to stop telling me to report it to the police? With, there's nothing we can do, okay? Once you've been scammed on a card, oh. there's nothing you can do. Lots of you, and I've spoken to you in the past, have been scammed when you've seen an offer that's so good to be true. And I was scammed many years ago as well. It's so good to be true and you do a bank transfer. Once it's gone, it's gone. So if we just forget those comments now, I've said what I've had to say. I don't really want to talk about it anymore. All I really would like is if anybody's bought anything unknowingly, but sit back and have a look and think, you know what? I shouldn't have really got that at that price. 
Um, actually, I didn't order that in the past, so I'm going to give Kara a ring or send her a message. But I do want to get on with this live, and I am. It's part of the reason why I always munch chocolate anyhow. But I've good reason to really munch chocolate stress. tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm freaking majorly stressed. <laughs> but um, anyhow, so let's move on. Let's have a great night tonight because Karen's mold is beautiful, and it's bound <laughs> to cheer you all up. Right. I've put a tiny little bit of glue on there as well, and the paste. I've just kneaded it, made I it smooth, that that just and done. flattened it out a little bit because it is quite a big area. You don't want to just put a ball of paste on and push around and move all this colour that you've just put in. So I will add to it. I think it might be a little bit thin in places because that's so flat and thin. It will come out very easily. So put some more cornflour on the back, or you can pick it up on your fingers to press in. So I'll do it carefully up here first. And I know that's okay now. And then push the paste that way and push it that way rather than, you know, the whole length of it and disturb what's underneath. That was a lucky guess. <laughs> right, if there was too much there, Sue I would Plant push says, it into one corner. Let me stop you. Sue Plant yeah. says, loving the auto text, Karen has just put cauliflower in the mould. Pardon. You know, really, at subtitles, <laughs> that's what it just said. Karen just, oh. it just said that you'd put cauliflower oh, in the mould. Brilliant. <laughs> I must try that. <laughs> Could be a whole new cauliflower cheese, couldn't it? <laughs> right, so push down into the hat there. And then there is a little bit too much just there. So I'm going to take that off. There we go. Now, because it is quite sort of flat and shallow, I want to make sure it is, it's filled evenly. It looks a little bit shallow here. So that piece I've just taken off, I'm going to add back in there. Because when it comes out, because it's quite a big area, if it's not the same thickness all the way, you know, through, it can look a bit wavy. <laughs> so that's pretty neat, pretty flat, okay? So that's ready to come out. Just make sure you've pressed really firmly. And then turn it over, spend the mould back, and out it comes. Okay, so there's the start. Now, um, we want a bobble for the hat. So here we've got the bobble, but this string here is for, you know, if you, you want bobbles hanging off the side of his hat as well. You see a lot of those hats with like a bobble on. Um, so you can do that. Or you can use the little rope part to do other little decorations or whatever. Whatever you think. Well, I'm going to get Simon tonight to take mm -hmm. pictures of all these donks or gnomes yeah. or whatever they are. Yeah. So that we can put a picture up so that people can copy them and have a look at yeah, them. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Oh, That's what we want, isn't That's it? That's what you want. That's yeah. what we want. That's what we want. Well, I think when they get a nice picture close up, because you see them and then you forget. Yeah. So I think if I get oh, yeah. Simon to do a job, lot to of refer a, to. all yeah. the gonks lined up, <laughs> well, they've got some nice ideas. Okay, so take that out. There's the bobble. And attach that there to the end of the hat. And when you press things on like this, never use your finger. Always use like a Dresden tool to secure it. And that saves squashing out the pattern on it okay do you have a supplier in Canada um oh we do is it how sweet is that I mm. think I think I'm not sure yeah yeah, yeah if she if she, yeah yeah I think it is how sweet is that is Canada uh, right I need some more grey don't I but I'm going to do now I'm going to do the trim on the between the hand and the arm there okay that little tiny piece move that up a little bit so you really only need a tiny little strip to put in <clears throat> now if I press that in it'll come out on my finger so I'm going to use a ball tool to just push it or stroke it in that's on the end of that so Adrienne I've already confirmed stuff for cakes are stocking Karen's molds it's actually just it's been dispatched today has it Yes, it did. Yes, yes so it's been dispatched today, so they should get it in in the next couple of days. And um, so, if you anybody <laughs> wants anything in Southern Ireland, go to Stuff for Cakes. Okay, they've got it. And Stuff for Cakes sell our icing sugars as well. And I think they're stocking our whipping it up also. In fact, yes, mm -hmm. they are stocking whipping it up. Oh, good. Mm. Right, the arm is that shape, so I've made that shape to go in. Okay. And then just take the excess off at the top. There's no need to use a knife or anything. Just push it up and take it off with your thumb. And then out it comes. And the same again. A little bit of cornflour. 
little strip of paste to put in and then push it into place with the bone tool okay and then the gray again and um, that does feel quite sticky so i haven't put any glue on there and it's so thin and small knowing me i've put too much on <laughs> and it'd come out and make a sticky mess so it's just a big teardrop shape really for the arm. That was a good guess this time. Maybe just add a little bit more into it. And take out. So, you know, remember you can bend the arms if you want it to maybe hold something like that. You could put a little Easter egg in there. You could mold the egg from here or you could use a Cadbury's, you know, the little mini eggs or something. You could do something like that, whatever you want. Now the legs, um, let me think. I think we'll do pink shoes to match the trims. What I'll do actually is show you the difference. So if I do, I'm just leaving it sloped a little bit there because when I mold here, I'm going to um, push the paste over onto there. So the gray. So you could mould feet. Now, if I was leaving those, if I'm putting those feet on, I would press in here and smooth it out so the feet sit in nicely because that's a funny, bit of a funny angle there. I mean, you can just put it right on top like that, but I think they look nicer pressed in. So I've got one. I didn't even put any cornflour in there because that paste felt quite oh, dry. Yeah. Pardon? Cauliflower. Oh, uh, cauliflower. Any cauliflower it in there? when you say cornflower, it's picking it up as cauliflower. That'll confuse anybody new who's just joined us. That's a bit confusing, sorry. I must admit, so, I have to turn um, the sound up just slightly on my phone. Yeah. Because otherwise yeah. I get engrossed in the um, yeah. subtitles. Uh, They're just hilarious yeah. to watch. <laughs> yeah, so that's what he looks like, or she looks like, okay, with just the feet. Or you can do some long legs. So if I put in... Really, I should remould that, but I'm not. I'm just putting it back in. And then get some grey for the legs. Yeah, and just make sure there's like a little slope for the grey to overlap there. Roll a nice sausage of paste. Push in and press. It's not quite enough there. Never add it on up here. Always add further down and then push. Mould it up. together, doesn't yeah. it? It keeps it strong. Yeah. I mean, really, I don't really need the whole leg, but I'll do it anyway. <laughs> so I was uh, using your sugar paste the other day. Did oh, a yes. Did a two-tier cake yeah. with it. Mm -hmm. um, it was with one of Karen, uh, Katie Sue's moulds. Yeah, yeah. But we did the fabric puff. Oh, yes. Oh, and Karen, your paste. And it's yeah. a, Kerry Griffiths recommended yeah. paste with Tylo in it. Yeah. And yours has got a little bit in it. Yeah. It was amazing for it. Yeah. And it, it just went yeah. in the mould and plopped straight it out. It will. With any good, any good quality mould, yeah. it works really, really well. But I can't guarantee it with some of the, you know, the really bad moulds yes, that you get. Yes, exactly. Yeah. But, um, but no, it was fantastic. It'll work really well with I that. don't think I've ever decorated this two-tier cake so quick in my life. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, right, I'm just going to take that leg out. There you go. So you I can love have the colours long of legs instead. I'll press that in flat to go underneath there okay that's great so obviously he'd be on your cake you know and you can do you can do his legs whatever shape you want he can be knock kneed or bow legged cross legged i don't know how long nikki king wants her legs but she said karen can you make some longer <laughs> legs please longer i, would, I know she said i'm a short ass but I, mean, I would say those legs are pretty long there nikki <laughs> Oh. And a few people are saying they don't want to open your fondant because when they do, they oh. eat it rather than give it away. Yeah. I must admit, I was pretty devastated. I did a two tier cake with Karen's fondant. Mm. No leftovers. Eh? <laughs> did no, you not Karen have any snaffled leftovers? it off and put it in a box ah. somewhere. <laughs> oh, that was a lucky guess. I think it might need a little bit more putting in there, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to be quick. And press that flat and obviously you'd use a little bit of glue on there put it underneath and then if you want to you could cross the legs can you freeze your sugar paste um you could but there's no need because it keeps it does keep really well as long as you wrap it tightly in polythene mm. 
and then put that in a in like a big Tupperware box. I've got to be honest, yours is really, the only, really well. Yours is the only place that mm -hmm. you open. Yeah. Fold it all up yeah. and wrap yeah. it up and you don't get good. loops in yeah. it later. No. It's brilliant. It is good and for that. that is a paste that you can actually leave out on the top without having to keep wrapping. I know, I know, I know, I know. I do, I do, you know, say if that's okay, but still tell people to keep it covered yeah. just in case. I think when the central heating is on, sometimes it makes it just go a bit crusty yeah. and dry out as it would with any paste, but it still keeps better than most of them do. So... Okay, I'm just going to give him, what shall I accessorise with? Hearts for Valentine's Day. I'll do a little white heart, I think. Let's go for the bigger one. It's a bit too much paste. So while Karen's just doing this, lots of you are commenting on that cake I did the other day and you're all commenting on the dust. The dust, we've now named it as Wonder Dust. One word, capital W, capital D, Wonder Dust. We've got five colours at the moment. It's on offer on the website. I did say it was 10 grams. It's not, it's five grams. It's in um, a 10 gram, um, what do they call it? Uh, volume, volumetric bottle. I don't know how, how it is but anyhow it's five grams but it is beautiful and Karen's going to use them tonight so we've put temporary labels on them but I have wrote that on the website read the product information but lots of you asked me could we get it on sale straight away because it wasn't supposed to go on sale for another couple of weeks yet so poor Karen I thought there's Karen see there's so many great Karens isn't there <laughs> <laughs> so um, poor Karen Griffiths she had to sit in the office and she had to label all of them but she got them done pretty fast to be fair bless her all good Right, did John um, bring that paste in? Yes, yes. Did. yes. Yeah, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll use that on a square board there. Let me just see which is the smallest board. Probably a bit more, use that one. Right, I'm going to now make this egg for you. I'll show you this. I love okay, that. this little decorated egg. How fabulous. With our little Easter gnome there. Yeah. Isn't okay. that fabulous? So it's actually an egg, chocolate egg, in a basket in an Easter basket okay and uh, I really enjoyed doing this it's nice <laughs> really nice to do so I've got to agree with this comment Linda Miles when I first brought Karen's sugar paste I kept mm. it as best as I didn't want to waste <laughs> it and then it went out of date oh. it doesn't actually go out of date it gets to a best before so if you've left it in the packaging it's absolutely fine if you've unopened it yeah so don't ever worry about it it's sugar Right, I'm going to cover this board with um, this Renshaw's chocolate flavoured paste. Um, you could do it in green sugar paste if you want to, like this. Okay, that one. I love that. I've actually embossed the board with a scrubbing brush. So you see the holes in it, you just bash it. Well, the while the paste is still soft, you just bash it with the scrubbing brush and you get a nice effect for grass. Or you can do it if you do it in white for snow. There's lots of different things. So I'll explain this one after I've made the chocolate, um, the chocolate one. Okay, just different way of doing it. Yeah, so this is the Renshaw's chocolate paste. It's so cold today, isn't it? Everything's really firm. Um, and <laughs> it's nice and warm in here, but uh, everything seems really firm today. Is that heat run down there? Yeah. I think it is. It was before. Yeah. It was earlier. Yeah, the big radio to some. I'm warm anyway. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. fine. Do you not want it on? No, may as well put it on. Right, so I'm just rolling this out to cover the board. It smells very nice. <laughs> Great, the non-stick board, you see. <laughs> no icing sugar, no treks, working beautifully. Let's see, does that look, oh, still a bit small. So while Karen's standing this, I get a couple of you asked, do we sell Karen's mould? Yes, that's the whole reason we have Karen in the kitchen. So if you go to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to brands and see Karen Davies. All her moulds are there, all of them, they're beautiful. <clears throat> You'll get really excited about them. Free delivery. Excuse me. Chocolate gone down the wrong way. <laughs> it's gone down the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> Free delivery on orders over forty pound. 
and um, the wonderlust is in the what's new and this mold is in the what's new section as well do we sell karen davis sugar paste life wouldn't be good if we didn't <laughs> honestly her sugar paste is probably the best i absolutely love it i've always raved about it and the thing is i'm really mean because i don't like to give anybody marshmallow <laughs> and the other week i only had that marshmallow here in the kitchen and i had to give it somebody i was <laughs> devastated but it's daft who else am i going to give it to i'm not going to eat it am i so. <laughs> right just trimming that edge off mm, smell nice and the new dust is called wonder dust the lady who came up with the name, she's just popped her name up, she's really pleased. Uh, Tanya Herbert came up with the name Wonder Dust. So thank you, Tanya. Okay. We got a bit giddy the other day when we was giving <coughs> dust away for fun. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Should I miss right. on something? You did, Simon. Why would you like <coughs> some of our dust? All no. the staff all the staff are pleased, they all got them. Okay. It's like right. Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right, the other paste I'm going to use is the Squire's Kitchen Modelling Cocoa Form. Okay, I've got a white and a milk chocolate here. They do the dark chocolate as well, which I'm going to use for um, our gnome's shoes. Okay, so there's white and milk. Now this is delicious. I might even say it tastes better than my sugar paste. <laughs> if, you, if you're chocolate mad, this is gorgeous. Yeah, it, is, it is lovely actually. Now it is more expensive than the Renshaw's because the Renshaw's is chocolate flavoured. I is, think the Renshaw's is gorgeous. It's nice, mm. it is nice. But you know what you can do as well? If you, if, you, if you bought them both and tasted them, you'd see sort of the difference. If you mix half and half together, mm you get the best of both worlds yeah. really and it works perfectly in the molds and it softens it up a little bit yeah. doesn't it it's yeah it's brilliant really good okay so the first thing i'm going to do is attach the egg now i have put everything i've melted a little bit of chocolate oops earlier hopefully it's still soft yeah actually i'm just going to use i'm going to use glue for now edit the glue because there's not much there I forgot to bring uh, all the chocolates. We just melted a bar before. Um, right, the egg. Where's the egg? Here we are. Now, this is a Terry's chocolate orange egg. Mmm, yes. <laughs> Smell the orange Yeah. in it. Okay, so what I'm going to do to attach it to the board... I'll be seeing which ones you'll be leaving behind, Karen. Ah, so it doesn't <laughs> wobble. So it doesn't wobble about everywhere. I'm going to put like a sausage of this paste on here. Okay, so I'm just going to guess at the moment where it's going. And roll the sausage to sit it on, just to keep it still. Okay, and it doesn't really matter where the join is. You're not going to see it anyway, so. Let's try that for size. Oh, yeah. This is actually a chocolate egg, it's not, not a cake. No, so just it's a chocolate, chocolate egg. egg. Yeah, okay. And what I want to do, I'm going to put a basket round here, like a basket weave. The, the, little, the little duck, is it off the farm animals? Yes, yeah. which little duck? This one. Yeah, so the little yeah. duck is off the farm, so the farm animals mould, Cathy, and um, that's where the little duck, there's one, there's one little mould that's not on the website, it's called the little chick. I didn't even know it existed. Cupcake chick. Cupcake, Cupcake chick. Cupcake chick. I didn't even know it existed, huh? but as huh? soon as we finish this live and Karen's packing up with John and Simon, I'll pop it on the website straight away. I've just added that other sugar paste round there because it will be better for the basket to attach to. Okay. The pink boards are back in stock. So the pink boards are back in stock. PME is all back in stock as well. If it's not in stock, it's because PME didn't have any stock. So PME arrived today, I've updated the stock, and that's where I've noticed some inconsistencies with prices. So I've noticed inconsistencies with FMM products and PME. They were been sold at £1.89, and I don't know who's hacked the site. It's just been happened over the last couple of weeks. I really don't know what's happened, but something. So if you bought any PME, or FMM and you paid one eighty nine. Mm -hmm. I'd be really grateful if you give me a call. <laughs> oh. Right. I did what I did with this. I couldn't decide how I was decorating it, and I made the gnome and sat the gnome in front, 
and then I added the basket weave on but this time I'm going to put the basket weave on first and then do the gnome but I'm just thinking I won't have enough of the I used the Renshaw's sugar paste for the basket for the outside but don't want to use all this up so I'm just going to use I think they're all saying they're all saying yeah. how much they love your paste but they can't bear to give it away oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we do get really mean about it don't we it's really funny <laughs> I think that is this is the chocolate one actually I've mixed this to make it go further I think I've mixed it with some sugar paste it's very very cold so just excuse me while I no worries I'll, I'll just this I'll up answer some questions. see how cold the, it is we've got Look. five new flavors of icing sugars and the the um the the manufacturer is just making them for us now because we only order premium flavoring so it has to be specially made for us so it's, we've we placed the order yesterday so I think it takes two weeks to order and then when it comes in, we'll have it. So I would probably say, I probably, I'm hoping by the first week in March that we should have it ready for you. And they're amazing, the new flavours. And somebody's asked, Karen, have you got any more new moulds coming out? Always. I know. <laughs> Always. There's a couple in the pipeline at the moment. I think they're asking you to Which, spill the beans. Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Yeah, I've got a sort of a trial, one trial one at the moment I'm looking at and have a go with tomorrow and I'll be here soon with it. Can you just remind them what you used to stick it on the board with your egg? Right, all I've done is put some edible glue onto the chocolate sugar paste and then a sausage of chocolate, I've lifted it off, chocolate sugar paste like this to sit the egg in and hold it. Fantastic. There's going to be other things around it, it will stay nice and secure. Make a fantastic soon. gift that one's been. It's what? Let's make a fantastic gift. Yes. Yeah. I hope it's going this to be egg, I think this size egg was about three pounds. Am I boring? <laughs> this egg was about three pounds to buy. So, I mean, there's other things you'd need as well. Like the, the Renshaw's paste is the cheapest way of doing it. Like I say, but I think the Squires one tastes the nicest. Okay, so I've now got our basket weave mould. This is great for Easter cakes. Um... Obviously, you can fill it with flowers, Easter eggs, whatever you want to do. You can do a cake instead of an egg, you know, do a nice handle for a basket. There's lots of options with that. It's a very popular mould. This paste is still freezing cold, so I might be like this, <laughs> rolling it. It'll, once it gets going, it'll be better. I start to roll it out before I put it in the mould because... There's no, no point in putting a big, thick piece in. Right, so we'll start with that. There's plenty of cornflour already in there. <coughs> now, at the ends, the ends fit together like a jigsaw. So I'm just starting to push the paste in to those pieces here. I'm not quite sure of the question, Jenny Moorhood. Moorwood. Could you please tell me what the difference is between Karen's fondant and her marshmallow fondant, apart from flavour? Yeah. One's vanilla, vanilla and one's marshmallow. Yeah. The vanilla is super yummy, and you know what? You might just give that away. The marshmallow... <laughs> ooh. <laughs> you have to save them for your bestest, bestest, bestest friends. <laughs> In fact, don't save it because we need to sell it you. Give it away to everybody. <laughs> Is there an update on the grey boards? The grey boards are being manufactured. I'm not sure whether they've actually left Germany yet. So you know the pink board that we all yeah. love, Karen? We're yes. doing grey ones. Ooh, very nice. Yeah. So I'm not sure if they do it. I did have an update yesterday, but I can't remember what the guy told mm. me. Couldn't oh. be honest. So by the time he told me one million things, yeah. I can't remember where we started in the oh, conversation. <laughs> I'm like that a lot since I've turned yeah. 60. <laughs> but you get that? You talk to a supplier. By the time you finish talking oh, no. to them, you forget, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brain is frazzled. Yeah. This this year, my brain is already frazzled, mostly due to Brexit. <laughs> right, turning that over. Okay, and I just peel back the edge. I'm not worried about the paste that's gone over the edge because it can just be trimmed off. I've got a cutting wheel. And just roll along there. And then this, you don't have to worry too much about because I'm going to trim this a bit shorter anyway. I just want to see how much I need. I want it to go about halfway up the egg. So if I take off there, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. 
So if I cut it here, take that away. Um, Diane Crocker, Carol, do you sell the cellophane that could cover the whole board so you could give it as a present? Um, at the moment, we're only selling little cellophane bundles. They do come with five sheets of cellophane in, and I think, uh, I can't remember how many um, tissues they come in. But I suppose you, you wouldn't be able to cover the whole board, but you certainly be able to cover one side of it and just tape it down the other side. Just saying to give it away mm -hmm. as a present. <laughs> Karen has one of these pink boards, converted her. In fact, yeah. every, every tutor that we've had in oh, here. Oh, grey now as well. Hey, I want yeah, grey now, now as well. <laughs> Me and Karen said the same. We went, we yeah. grey. Well, my worktop at, at, in our unit is mar like a marble effect, so the grey would look <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Well, I had some green ones here, and then Simon, Simon don't want mm. pink. And I said, I said to him the other week, I said, yeah, do you want a green one? He was well shocked, weren't you? <laughs> Were you sure? Were you? Yeah. Oh, we're getting rid of them. <laughs> we want pink and grey. <laughs> We've decided that Karen's going to, Karen in the morning is going to do a live. One day, on a Monday, she'll use the pink board, and on a Friday, the grey, <laughs> or vice versa. You'll know what day it is. Yeah. <laughs> or vice versa, yeah. Yeah. When it's one of those weeks when you think, oh, what day is it today? Because every day seems the same at the moment, know, doesn't it? Me. Well, not for me, it's, it doesn't. It's confusing. I don't think, I think, I think we're, because we're working, it does. But because yeah. we're not going out, they're yeah. all just running into each yeah. other, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. So that's the next one ready. What I did with the first piece, I just measured it round to see whereabouts to cut at the back. Um, normally I worry about the pattern ma matching up you know you go you're putting them around a cake you, you want the pattern to match up and everything but I thought oh, no, I'm just gonna cut it and put them together nobody's really going to look at the back of this and here I either you can either take it off like this with your thumb which I prefer to do or use a knife I find sometimes the knife drags it a little bit I'm not as keen on that I like to feel it and I just tidy that up a little bit because where it rips you know when you rip to trim it it goes a bit rough on the edges so that's okay now that can come out so turn over and peel out okay I didn't really lift that up before to show you close up fantastic how it looks there we go looks great doesn't it yeah. Vanessa Woods said she used your marshmallow icing on her Christmas cake knowing mm. that nobody else would be there to eat it <laughs> 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 one off and then trim it the same height I don't trust myself one two three four five six seven yeah one two three four five six seven so it's here okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these jo the joins at the front because the, the gnome will hide that, okay? So I think I'll be brave and just cut them the same length. Hopefully I did that right. <laughs> get rid of all this paste. Well, why are you doing that? A few of you ladies are asking what the new flavours are. I can tell you what they are. So we've got Love Hearts. Mm. So those are like those little sweeties. I don't know what do they, what do they call those little sweeties? From uh, yeah, from, from um, refreshers. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The same company. I know what's the name? Swizzles. Oh, yeah. The, the manufacturer Swizzles. Yeah. And they do some sweeties called Love Hearts. So we're going to do a nice and sugar called Love Hearts. It's delicious. Mm. Okay. I can't see we'll have a problem with the name because the word Love Heart is Love Heart. So as long as we don't write it the same as them, we shouldn't have a problem with that. And then we are going to have a new flavour, a really fruity flavour, like the Twister Ice Lolly. And that's delicious as well. That's really fresh. That really pops. That's really, really fresh. That's very nice. And um, we have, oh, I don't know, Karen Naylor's here, isn't she? She's, she tasted them all. They've all been tasting them. <laughs> they love them. Um, we've got a new mojito. So different from the last one. I think this one's a better. I don't drink myself, but um, I must say I really like this one. And we've got a... Um, and that's non-alcoholic. We've got another non-alcoholic non drink called Passion Fruit and, um, I need somebody to help me. Passion Fruit, Passion Fruit Martini. Ah. 
So the passion fruit has been swapped for, from another word for a cocktail drink. Now, as I don't drink alcohol, I won't know what the word is. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what it is, but Karen Griffiths, who works here, drinks them all the time when she's on holiday. So she knew straight away what it was and she was overjoyed. And that tastes absolutely delicious as well. And then we've got another Mojito one. Mojito or something. Pardon? Mojito. A lot of people have those on holiday. Yeah, they do, yeah. Um, yeah I, <laughs> I may as well say it. It's a porn star. Oh, it's called a porn, porn, star, porn star martini, martini isn't it? They're very but we're nice. calling it a passion fruit martini. <laughs> yeah. But it does taste, it taste, taste, it tastes amazing. Ooh, yeah. But those two um, alcoholic drinks have no alcohol in them. And then we've got the last one, which is dragon fruit and mango. Now, I've got to be honest, I do not like dragon fruit, but this is delicious. And I don't know whether to call it that dragon fruit and mango, because I would look at it, if I went past something and saw it had dragon fruit in it, I wouldn't want to buy it. <laughs> but it tastes amazing. So I don't know whether to call it like a tropical... Um, mango or tropical fruit I don't know what to call it so if you can think of any names for that one that would be great but they all taste amazing mm. and poor John got the bill yesterday <laughs> and he said to me and because we only buy premium flavorings they're really really expensive and he got the bill yesterday he went do we really need five new flavors <laughs> and I went, yeah yes <laughs> he said no I'm, I'm, he said, I'm not joking do we need five new flavors and I went yeah we do so we just had yeah. a little bit of an eyeball to each other. <laughs> Told you who the boss was. <laughs> so. Tell him that's what we need because we're, we're not going to be going on holiday. We're all going to be sat in our garden with, with our cakes, yeah. our cocktail flavoured cakes in that hand and the actual cocktail in that hand. i tell you what he was impressed with over the weekend. Mm -hmm. I needed to clean the freezers out here. So I sent Terry home with a load of ice cream and Karen and I kept a tub here and we'd mm -hmm. made honeycomb ice cream with mm. some chocolate drops in. Wow. And um, and John thought it was the real stuff. He didn't know it was ours. And he thought it was delicious. Wow. Mm. Mm. So he was well impressed with that. But I think you'll be impressed with it. I think I, I, I'd be really surprised if you don't like these new flavours. Right, I'm now making a handle for the basket. Okay. So take that off and trim so this basket weave mold is called basket weave That's mold it. just basket weave <laughs> so if you go to our page sugarandcrumbs.co.uk go to brand karen davies and there's the basket weave mold so if you want to put things in your shopping basket and you decide to click out do remember we've now put new security restrictions so you'll only be allowed three attempts on your card before your card gets blocked so do be careful. Um, so do be careful. Make sure that you write on there the name and address that your bank has. So make sure you write your postcode exactly as it is. Some of you ladies, for some reason, I don't know why, but you write the first line of your address three times. I'm really not quite sure why you do that. Some of you don't put the postcode in the postcode option. Some of you don't put your flat or your house number. So, and then that's when some of your parcels go missing because the courier can't find them and then we never get them back. Um, so please make sure you put the address exactly what it says on your bank statement. Okay, I've put the handle on the basket now. And what you can do, if you want to, is just take a Dresden tool. This is gonna be awkward, let me see. If you see front, that is that side, okay? Which, which way? way would you like? Where the am side? I? I'm trying to... <laughs> yeah. On that one at the yeah, okay, but just, all I'm going to do is just mark it with the Dresden tool like that, okay? Because otherwise you get that flat cut edge, okay? I can't see what I've done or what I am doing. So when I turn it round and it's a mess, <laughs> I might have to uh, alter it slightly. So some of the ladies are saying, because they've been doing chocolate courses with us, oh, yes. they're going to make their own chocolate Easter eggs, and so you should. Oh, lovely. Because now that oh, you, nice. you've got all that lovely, delicious yeah. Calibo chocolate, yeah. you've got the Easter egg moulds, which yeah. are on our website. So we sell the Easter egg moulds by Cakestar, which is how Ollie showed you how to use the moulds. Or you've got the BWB moulds, they're in stock, so their Easter egg ones are in. So I know a few of you have said that you're going to make your own, which is brilliant. You can put chocolate in the moulds as well. Absolutely. You can, um, Inside the eggs. Temper, yeah. Well, you can temper the 
no mould and put chocolate in it. Did, did you um, see what I did with your moulds the other week? I was using them for isomol. I've just seen down there. Yeah, yeah have you seen them? Yeah, they I are know, lovely. I, know, I meant to message you because um, oh, I use loads of your yeah, moulds, Karen. Lovely. And um, but I did tell mm -hmm. everybody that that I had no problems with the moulds, but I did yeah. say. I haven't had permission of any of the companies that there's any guarantees with the moulds. Yeah, yes, they, they will not. work, but it's only really very high heat can damage yeah. them eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it like dries out yeah. the edges, like say that basket weave where there's very fine edges, it might make yeah. them go a little bit crusty, but so, that's after a lot of use. Yeah, exactly. And so I, I did warn them, I said, listen, if yeah. anything happens Be to okay your mould, I have yeah. not had permission of Karen Davies or Katie Sue <laughs> to say that they work with isomol. So mm -hmm. I'm just letting you know that. But they work beautifully for me. They were lovely. Oh, so we use quite a lot. I use your um, buttercream mm -hmm. flowers. Oh, great. You have your, your cake one, your wedding cake one there with the oh, ring on. Oh, yes. Is it the yes. ring lovely on it? Yeah, 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 yeah. The wedding cookie, that is. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Um, right, I'm going to do a trim now. This is the plaited borders mould. I'm going to put a trim around the top and bottom of the basket. So what I'll do, I'll just decorate the front. I'm going to ignore the back. So uh, we get it done in time. There's one. I'll explain that now when I do. I'll do one more because I didn't even tell you what, how I was doing that then. Right, so obviously cornflour in. There's enough in there. I can see there's enough cornflour. So roll a sausage, but don't put like a really fat sausage on there. You want the sausage to be very similar in diameter. See the diameter of the sausage, the same width as the plat that you're putting it into, because then it will be easier to press in. And I go side to side and in side and in like that. We do it in slow motion. <laughs> side to side and in and that levels it off and pushes it away from the edges because you don't want any paste over the edge because you see it when it comes out and take that off and then turn over and bend the mold okay and then we'll do top and bottom now i'm going to i'll cut it in half i think because the the gnome is going to hide the center front anyway so we won't see that, so I can leave a gap there. We don't need it all. And then just put some chocolate round. I'm not sure how far round it will go. Let me think, how big is our gnome? Any cornflour you can see on there, I can brush off. Oh, what am I doing? Not blue, should be using chocolate. Too late. Um, yeah, any, Oh, hang on, I need to put that down a little bit because I was putting the uh, daffodils in there. They all knew what I was talking about when I said mm -hmm. passion fruit martini. I said ah, it's got a name, I tell you. Yeah. They're rummings, these lot. <laughs> oh, they've all, they've all shouted <laughs> it out. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> right, this time I put quite a bit of chocolate there because I want it to just stand on the edge because I'm going to put some daffodils in there later probably would have been easier to do them now but um, i thought i'll just use while i've got the chocolate colored the cutting tool that karen is using it's a pme tool and it's the little it's the cutting little, wheel it's, it's the little wheel cutter isn't yeah, it yeah there's a large and a small one yeah they're really handy really yeah. useful and so is the dresden yeah. tool that's really useful yeah. as well we actually do a pme caddy set of tools on the website as well which is absolutely brilliant it's got all of them in and it, it's a fantastic little set. Is that good Simon bought a set? I did indeed. You did? He did? I was well amazed. So what does he want a set for? <laughs> so just a little bit more chocolate round. So obviously you go right the way round, but I'm just going to do the front for today. Getting chocolate everywhere. Yes, babe, your, your moulds will work with the ruby chocolate in as well. So uh, Viv is using mm, some moulds with the ruby chocolate yeah. in. Oh, lovely. Okay, right, so now we'll do, use the, is that the chocolate one? Milk chocolate, yeah. This is so nice. But yeah. like I say, you can mix the two together as well, make it a bit more economical. So we just need to soften that up a little bit now. 
Michelle, if you go and look at the PME caddy, it shows yes. you did a picture with all of them laid out, didn't you, Simon? Yeah. So Simon did a photograph with all the tools that's in that. It's actually quite a very good price. It's the PME tool caddy. So just have a look at that one. It's got every tool in there that you need. And that they're actually really very good, the PME tools. So in terms of the of the modelling chocolate form, cocoa form. I did think it was a weird name for Squires to come up with cocoa form. Yeah, yeah. But why, how would you look for modelling chocolate as cocoa <laughs> form? Um, and do you know we've got milk chocolate in? We haven't got a lot of white, but I'll be updating that tomorrow. And I've got no none of this chocolate modelling paste from Renshaw in, mainly because they haven't had any in for ages. Oh. So Renshaw's very hit and miss at the moment with what colours they've got in and out. Oh. I think what it is, they've got staff in, staff out. Oh. And mm. um, so they've had a right old year with um, um, quite a lot of their stuff. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Right. I can't. I did have some colours mixed already because this white modelling chocolate, obviously, you can colour it. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm just using a little bit of sugar flare skin tone. Okay. Put that in. We do sell all the sugar flares. We do sell all the sugar flare colours now, and we're actually going to put another range. So we sell we sell the tartanol. Is that how you say it, Simon? Tartanol range spectrum. Is it spe spectral? Isn't it? Yeah. We sell the extra, but we're going to put on another range of their paste. I think they're called the pastel paste. Yeah. Called pastel. I'll just send it over. Mm. Yeah. So we're going to put those on on Saturday. And we're also putting on the rainbow dust luster, bus, luster pearls as well. So they're going on. <laughs> so me and Karen Naylor are going to be working side by side on Saturday, nine till five. <gasps> Aren't we Karen, love? <laughs> She's coming here to work at the home office with me. Right, I wish I could find my coloured because that has gone so Which soft. Which coloured do you want? No, I've got this coloured in a little bag, but I don't know where I've put it. That's gone too soft, you know, because it's quite warm. It's not one of these bags. Oh, oh it's been right done. under your nose. I know, I know what I've done. What? I've put it in my pocket. Can you keep it keep yeah. warm? <laughs> to keep <it> soft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly me. Oh, dear. I probably, yeah, I've squashed the skin colour and it's, it's too soft because I've left it in too long anyway. So, what? oh dear, what's the point? Right, that is very, very soft. So, I'm hoping it will come out okay. <laughs> Give him plenty of corn flour in there, okay. And it's not, I should have done a better colour really. Right, so I'm going to be very careful what I put in here now because it will spread very, very easily. Okay, so, and it's certainly sticky enough to, <laughs> for the next piece to stick to it. So, I want the trim for his hat. We're all saying how young looking you look in Karen Ooh. for celebrating your birthday. Have they been to Specsavers? Hmm? <laughs> Have they been to Specsavers no, recently? Do look good. <gasps> oh dear. Right. And there's a few people who's ordered our new Wonder Dust tonight. Oh. So I'm sending Karen home with some. So she well, yeah, can give them a, a try. Play with that. They're lovely, aren't so, they? So yeah, give her five of them to take home. So they've got Very temporary nice. labels on at the moment. <laughs> John wasn't sure how big the containers would be when they came, so yeah. we haven't organised the yeah. labels yet. Yeah. Oh. Right, I'm just going to roll this out a little bit, make it easy to put into the mould. Okay. Oh, I'm so hot. <laughs> Look at my hands, all sticky and... Start to press that in. If if it feels at all sticky, just put a little bit of corn flour on the back because they do lift out very easily. Down into the end of the hat. And down here. I'm trying not to press on the back of his nose too much. There's a little bit too much down this end, so we'll take some off. Just in that corner. I always work the excess into a corner. It's much easier to uh, to remove. And then I can top up a little bit here. 
Okay, so I'm hoping I'll get away with that. That would be okay. Really, I should put a little bit more in there. Actually, I'll use a piece of this just to fill it out. No one will know. Don't tell anyone. And turn over. And there he is. Now, sometimes if that's happened there, you can just see a little bit of sort of seeped into the white chocolate seeped into the dark chocolate. This is really good to just push with the Dresden tool like that. A Dresden tool is brilliant, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And you just clean up the edge a little bit. Okay, it's because I'm quite warm. My hands are really warm. Okay, so that Super. now can go Love onto it. the front. But if you want his legs, that's the milk again. I might just give him feet because I showed you legs before, <laughs> so it would be quicker, won't it? Let's get the dark. Oh, that dark is gorgeous. Yeah, I just thought the dark chocolate would look more like, you know, his dark boots. So, and that hasn't gone as soft. That is really hard, that one. Um, when you take it out of the packet, it's really firm. So, although that's been in my pocket in the polythene bag with the white chocolate one, and that was really, really soft, this one is perfect. Mm -hmm. So just press really firmly. I'll take that out, and the same again. Too much, I think. Yeah, I haven't even added any corn flour because I know it will come out beautifully. Press firmly and take out. Okay, so now we'll add him to the front here. So I'm going to put some chocolate down the middle and just on the edge there because you can curve his head round a little bit. Okay, turn him round. <laughs> I'll move if you like. It's cute, isn't it? That's it. Love it. Anyway, put his feet on now. These are like the really nice modern mm. garden gnomes, aren't they? Yeah. They needed modernising. <laughs> There's a house up the road from here, mm -hmm. so I go up to the it's town centre. Piece. Yeah, and I don't know what he's done with his garden, but he's mm. gone completely bonkers. <gasps> it's just full of hundreds and hundreds of gnomes. Oof! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe the grandchildren like them. <laughs> I really don't know, but then he's painted all his fencing and his gate some really weird colours. Oh. And then I went up there again a few weeks mm. later, and his neighbours started doing the same thing. Oh gosh! So there's something obviously going yeah. on up there, isn't oh, there? Blimey. They're breeding, yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to go and have a word with them and say, hey, you need to modernise your gnomes, mate. <laughs> right, arms. He needs some arms. He's holding daffodils, isn't he? And beard. I think I'll put his beard on first, actually. So, there's the beard. A bit of cornflour. <laughs> They're all laughing because I've made a promise mm -hmm. to myself that I'm going to finish work at 5pm on Fridays. At Saturdays. So on Saturday night now I'm going to finish work at 5pm. I'm not going to look at Facebook, any messages, <sighs> any emails. I bet you do. No WhatsApp <laughs> messages. No WhatsApp messages. I'm going to have to just turn my phone off. Yeah. And they're going to have to phone John or something. It's very difficult to do that on a Saturday night because there's nothing on the TV. <laughs> I know, but I've got all the real housewives of everywhere around the world to watch. <laughs> So Lincoln is with um, John tonight, so he's not in here. He's another one doing me nothing. <laughs> Who, John or Lincoln? <laughs> Lincoln. <laughs> right, there's his beard. That's going to go on. I just sort of point it a little bit there as well to make it nice and neat when it goes in. They're just saying about Karen Naylor working with me on Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Karen and I have agreed. It's definitely a 5pm finish, and she said she's going to be making sure she watches the clock. Oh. She's very good, Karen. She, when she comes in, she says, how long do you want me to stay? And I said, no, Karen, we've got to finish at five. But she does agree we should. Oh. So here we go again, Dresden tool to push your beard in. That's what I use every morning. Is it, with your beard? Well, to push your your beard dress, that's why he bought the tools. Now we know. 
<laughs> the beard trimming. What did you buy all the tools for? For making models. For making models. <laughs> Where are we? The top there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to tilt it too much, but hey, there we go. <laughs> do, you, do you make clay models then? I make sugar paste models. At I know you make. Is that what you're making at the moment? Sugar paste well, models. That's, that's all I've made with them so far. <laughs> right. So arms now. Again, like before, tiny little strip of paste into the trim on the arms, and then push it in with the Dresden tool. Not sorry, the ball tool. Mm -hmm. Gone Dresden tool mad. And then your milk chocolate squires paste. Perfect. Amount out. Um, well that's the white, isn't it? Some of it coloured with skin colour and it's hardly any different. Confusing me. <laughs> Apparently when on the subtitles. Mm -hmm. I haven't got the subtitles up because I've just tapped <laughs> the sound up so that they go off. But apparently, when I said they, that they need to modernise their gnomes, it said yeah. modernise your nose. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> no, I have promised John that I am going to take, I'm going to switch off on Saturdays. If I don't switch off, I've been like this all my life. It isn't while sugar and crumbs. Every job I've had, I've actually never switched mm. off. And I think back, I've ruined all my children's lives. Even when we've gone out for a <laughs> meal. I've got yeah, up in a meal still... and walked off out and dealt mm. with something on the phone. Mm. Oh. I've done it on holiday, I've worked on holiday, I've, I've worked on everything. And John goes mad because I've even got a special suitcase to take my computer with me. <laughs> and I take the full size yeah. one with me as well. We have to check it in, he oh, goes mad. Oh gosh. And then the family go mad because um, I come down for breakfast in the morning and I always go back and do two or three hours work. Oh gosh. Then I sunbathe in the afternoon, then I go back again. Oh. Right, there's his arms on. Okay, which camera shall we go uh, to? Whichever one you want. Well, tilt him backwards. There you go. It's a bit of chocolate seeped out there, but it's, some, it's awkward. I'm at an awkward yeah. angle sometimes when you're doing these things, aren't you? You're not working how you would sat at home or whatever. So again, use your dressing tool to push that in. I've forgotten to do his little daffodils there, but I'll add them in. Add them in later. I'll show you that next. So I've not got much green, so I'll colour some green now. I'm going to pick up all those little bits of flesh there as well. But the only problem is now it'll go warm. I might colour the green and then do the daffodils. That's what I'll do. Let the green cool down. So, I've got some spruce green. And cocktail stick. And I've got a very sort of tricky, not tricky, sneaky way of doing the daffodils using this mould, using the gnome mould, nothing else. Uh, Donna Jeffries just said, Carol, mm. that's another thing that's rife, dog thieves hold on to them babies. There was, it Believe was on me. the radio, know, on Radio 4 dogs for fun. the other day. A yeah. friend of mine messaged me to show me that her mm. new dog, and I said, oh, I didn't know you'd got that, and she said, and she said her other dog had had babies, I said, Aww. when? Yeah. And she had to keep it a secret for fear of somebody coming mm. robbing her house. So she then sent me a video of all the babies of how cute oh. they were, but they've all left home now. Yeah. But she yeah. said I couldn't share with anybody till they're gone. Oh. Isn't that sad that? Yeah. Listen, no one will nick my dog, so I bring them yeah. back. <laughs> they've got anxiety issues, they're yeah. clung to my legs. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right now, the daffodils. I'm going to I'm just leaving the green there to cool a little bit. But, um, spread it out and let it cool down. Um, right, the daffodil. Yeah, this is quite funny. So here, yeah, Karen, a charging question. So if you yeah. were making these for somebody, what would you sell them to for? To sell, right. It, um, it would depend which paste you use as well. If you're going to use the Squires one, do you know how much they are a pack on the oh, website? They're they are they're about, about seven. seven pounds yeah, about like. seven pound for 150 grams. So yeah. it is quite a lot. So you're better doing them with the Renshaws. Yeah. Um, I'm so out of touch with what you charge for things. I really, because um, I don't do that anymore. 20 quid. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, done. 20 quid. Well, it's a specialist one, isn't it? Yeah. 
So you've got a price in your egg. Can you imagine the name? I... You put the name on the front. Yeah, and you know what? So... If you went to Thornton's and bought an egg, you'd be paying a fortune. So look at this one. So cost up your egg, cost up your sugar paste, cost up your time. Mm -hmm. And there you go. You've got your price. If they don't want to pay it, they don't get it, do they? They can get back down there and have a cheap one from Lidl or Aldi or wherever mm -hmm. they get them. Yeah. Won't taste anywhere near as good or look as good. Right. I've just put some yellow paste into the little blossom on there. Okay. Um, pressed firmly. That's ready to come out. With this, the one thing I didn't allow for, where my unit is freezing cold. <laughs> so I've never worked with this paste being this soft before. So that's sort of... And she was warming it up on the radiator before. Yeah. I said, do you want to leave it on the radiator? She said, oh yeah, these are soft. No, that was, that was fine. It Could did take the, the chill off it because it, uh, it had been in the van, or right. obviously, um, for a few hours. But I'm like, see, melting. Can you not just pop it in the fridge for a minute? No, it'll be fine. I'll just get rid of my sticky hands. Sort that out. So Simon, there's a request for you to do a live again now you've got a pink beard. <laughs> um, pink boards, they have all arrived in the building and I will be updating the stock as well. Oh, I forgot to it. update them today. Your beard's pink. It's, it's like pink. a maroon pink, isn't it? <laughs> what do you think of it, Karen? What colour? It's rubine. It's rubine, is it? It's like a claret, isn't it? Like it a, is a claret yeah. colour, yeah, actually. He's drank too much spot, wine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spilt the it's wine. the best coloured beard he's had so far. Right, these, this blossom, right, you're going to pinch each petal and flatten. Keep your hands cold to do this, okay? Because this is just melting in my hands, okay? So flatten and pinch, or pinch and flatten, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, that is very, very soft. So it's not the most perfectly shaped daffodil. I'll show you a close-up of the others on the, on the egg that's finished. So I'm just going to pop that there on some corn flour. Ooh, see, it doesn't even want to part with my fingers. That's a right mess. <laughs> then the end for the, the trumpet, you just need a little ball of paste. This will be fun. <laughs> this will be fun. Find a decent paintbrush handle. Um, I'm just dipping that They're in the corn flour. That's fantastic. Wow. Put the end of your paintbrush in that little ball. Don't push it right the way through and then just pinch it round like that. Then if you put a little bit of glue just on the end there, it won't come off here now, you watch. <laughs> hey. So the daffodil, the shape of the daffodil is pretty awful because it's so soft. Let's try and fix it. Did you it. make all those daffodils yourselves then? I spotted some on over there. there. Have you made all them yourself? On here? No, on there. No. Yeah. yeah, on that one, yes. Yeah. Because the I always think the I less... Thought, I thought I was going to speak to you about afterwards yeah. and say, have you got a mould for that? The daffodils on that one yeah. are from the cookie, the Easter cookie mould. So there is like ah, a little right. strip so of daffodils all you lot there. So we've got gold boxes. Last year, last year we bought too many of those. Ah. So they got them all in the gold boxes last Ooh. year. So wow. all you got gold boxes last year, get that mould out. They are. You've got it already. Yeah, yeah. so that, I mean... Sometimes I use the Dresden tool as well between wherever. But like I say, it's going so out of shape and then I usually just curve the petals up in my fingers. And I'd let it set a little bit, then brush it with orange powder to attach. Oh, here. Okay, let's tilt it back there. So you can see the daffodils there. They were made in a much cooler... <laughs> place of very cold hands. I will tell you, Karen's warehouse yeah. is very cold. Yes, very cold. But having said that, our warehouse is very cold. Well, the, we are the, in the ceilings are so high, aren't they? Yeah, it's our warehouse is freezing. We haven't got central heating at all. No. Well, the girls have got central heating in the office. It's oh, going at full speed and oh, it's just going straight out yeah, the roof. Yeah, we haven't got anything like that. Yeah, no, I've been there. Isn't it? <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, yeah. I sat oh. there last time having fish yeah. and chip tea with you frozen oh, yeah. to death. Yeah, it is. Well, you imagine what it's been like this last yeah. week or so. Oh. <laughs> oh. Don't those ovens keep it warm? No. 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 It's just because it's a big area and the roof's, the ceiling's so high, isn't yeah. it? All the heat, it's lovely and warm up in the roof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I've put a little line down the centre of each and then you can push up the petals like that. Okay, and then you would brush the centre with some orange powder. Now, oh that's better. <laughs> For your daffodil leaves, use the beard. Bit odd, but it works. 
Okay, so green beard. a green beard. Yeah, put the paste in. <laughs> I think of such a thing. <laughs> and, uh, actually, your green beard wasn't a problem either. <laughs> The only thing I don't like beards, and I know I'm always picking on him about the beard, <laughs> but I can cope with a controlled beard, and I feel as though we've got back some control this evening. Yeah. And I can cope with a decent coloured beard. So you've had it blue, you've had it green, and this pink. You've had a you've had a pink before. You've got this claret colour now, so it's not too bad. It's when you grow all the other stuff around your head that's bothering. Mm -hmm. Right, beard, green beard is out. Cut it straight across here, okay? Don't think Sam has ever had so many compliments off me in a night. <laughs> and then start to trim down Are you like sure? that. Yeah. <laughs> you see with the those little cuts on the side of the beard. If you go That's so clever. Did, did you think of that for the beard or did that just come later? It came later. I didn't did design the beard with this in mind. No. I just I just suddenly thought, Oh I know what I'll try. Yeah, yeah, clever. Let's Very try clever. That. Yeah, there you go. So there's your daffodil leaves and then they will go here. Oh. Can't see that. All right, I'll move it in a second. I've just put a little bit of chocolate on, push them in. Some flopped over look really good, looks fine, but I'm going to be quicker using the glue. If you put some up, some down, some bent, that's what you want. Okay, so I'll lift that up now for you to see. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll get to that one. That one. Okay, right. and I just need to push it down towards the basket. I'll make the hang on. Oh, where's that going? <laughs> so anybody who's anybody who's see it now. live, because I know a few of you yeah. come on and said you just joined what's Karen News. Go back and watch the live afterwards. It's on YouTube. Have we got anybody watching on YouTube tonight? Yes. Karen? Yes, I'm glad you you've been looking after your audience. John <laughs> Cook said hello to you this afternoon. Your one and only fan. This afternoon? Yeah. Oh, we were doing baking with the kids this afternoon, oh, weren't we? Yeah. I know you were. But Hi, she... Jill. <laughs> she likes my beard. <laughs> Thank you for that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, hello, YouTubers who are on there. That's I set really quick because it's small. small. Well, it's for you. Yours meant to be doing comments on Oops. YouTube, not oh, me. Okay. Listen, Karen's having problems with her daffodils. Yeah, let's, sliding let's daffodils. Let's concentrate on something go. else while we're she worries about her daffodils. I thought we were trying to get, you know, now. entertain while she was doing that, and then just so that <laughs> no one was noticing. I'll show you the daffodils in her in his his arms now as well. I forgot to do that one. So we'll do another green beard. All right, there's plenty too much here. I'll just take it off at the bottom. Yeah, so feel free to like and share, like and share. We're doing the prizes tomorrow. So I think we've got two weeks of prizes to do because we had a class with Doe Griffin last Friday. So Karen will be shouting out all the prizes tomorrow. So keep on liking and sharing, everybody. Don't share into the class groups, remember? So don't share into those. They all get really miffed off about you sharing into those. And then we just delete them so they don't count. Um... That's, this is for the bunch of daffodils, and all you do is scrunch it up together. And was that the original idea that we and thought? No, what the beard? No, <laughs> no beard. that little bit there, what was yeah. the original idea for, for doing the scrunched up for the daffodils, was it? Yeah, you just make that again, but yeah. to, do, to put it in his, in his arms, right. you just scrunch it up like that, so you've got all the, like a bunch of daffodils, so you've got all the leaves together. I'll probably take his arm off, because I should have put the daffodils in first. We'll put some more chocolate there and back on here for his arm. It's so soft. And put that back in there. They are probably going to flop a little bit, so again, a little bit of glue. They like it when it goes a bit AWOL, Karen, because it means that when they have that problem, they know <laughs> yeah. they can watch you and think yeah. how they're going to source it yeah. out. But I would, I'd fiddle more and do it better than that if I was at home. You know, I'd cut them a bit finer or add a few more leaves or whatever but that's that's all you do and then you need another daffodil for on there okay oh next it'll be his rabbit ears won't it so do one more daffodil now the paste seems a bit better let's try again ah. <laughs> <laughs> so paste in I mean, if you were having this problem, I think the answer is mould all your daffodils, then pinch and flatten them. Yeah. 
that would be better because that firmed up really quickly you know so you do five ten however many you want off them then pick them up and do the pinching Ooh, which one was it there so pinch point flatten I just feel them melting mm -hmm. <laughs> as a squeeze it just goes <laughs> so um, what's she called there Adele Williamson says Carol I made your blueberry ice cream last night oh my god it was fabulous <laughs> just a bowlful yes our blueberry flavour is not a big flavour but it is amazing and if you haven't tried it you really should and last year we came in the kitchen and I made it into fresh in the fresh cream just added about 100 grams to the fresh cream John came in fact it wasn't last year it was the year before mm. and John came in tasted it and I've never seen a man go through fresh cream so much and he's he just kept scoffing it <laughs> yeah all of it Karen honestly he made a complete pig of himself felt ill afterwards oh, no. and said don't ever don't make that again, again. <laughs> Yeah, it's your fault. I, I ate that much. Exactly. So, 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 yeah. so I didn't actually tweet it all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the blueberry ladies, if you've not tasted the blueberry seriously, John wants me to get rid of it, and I really don't want to get rid of it simply because it doesn't sell that well. But it's it's fantastic, and it's a bit daft. He wants me to get rid of it because he really liked it in fresh cream, but I'm not allowed to give it him again. <laughs> I'm just gonna do put this one on just to show. So the yellow PME Scriber, I didn't know it was out of stock, so it must have only just gone out of stock. I am placing an order again with PME sometime tonight. Um, so I'm hoping, I've just had a delivery of PME stock, so it, either it was on that order and they didn't have any stock in. The thing when you order with PME, you don't know what you're getting, unfortunately, because uh, with some of our suppliers, you order and you know you're actually going to get it. And there was some of the suppliers, you have to place an order and they, some companies will actually let you know the next day what you're getting and some won't let you know until it actually arrives and unfortunately PME is one of those companies that does that. That kills me. <laughs> kills me, especially if I've been waiting two weeks for it and I'm like, you don't want to order any more stock because you don't know if you're getting it in that order. Aww. You can't top up your stock. Yeah, I've just right put there. a bobble on his hat. Okay, he's getting there, slowly. Now his ears, rabbit ears of course. So we do it in the natural, in the white again. Yeah, so the blueberry and the pavlova is amazing as well. And no, we're not going to get rid of it. I won't let him get rid of it, but he has got it on the get rid of list. <laughs> Don't worry, I do the final say. I, do, I just let John be the boss, let him think he is the boss. It keeps him happy. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, he nearly put me under the patio the other day. Is he listening? Got, you listening to this? Listening. <laughs> it, it, conversation got well. You were here the other night, weren't you? The conversation got well out of hand. We're not allowed to talk about it anymore. No. So we can't talk about don't anything about we talked about don't on even Monday. Say that. Oh. No, don't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> right, We've second year. Much. I've said too much. Yeah. Oh, Karen says the FMM knife and the scriber tool is in stock. She's just checked. It is in stock. We won't be doing we won't be doing lemon and blueberry again. That was definitely one flavour. It was delicious. It was amazing to be fair, but it just didn't go. Tomorrow, Karen um, Griffiths is going to be baking with you tomorrow, and she's going to pair up two flavours, and it's the pumpkin spice because I saw quite a lot of you when I asked what flavours you wanted last year. You all asked for pumpkin spice. So I've got it in and it's not actually a big seller. So I said to Karen, mix it with the vanilla latte. So it's a bit like when you've gone to the Ooh, uh, coffee shop. Cost cost so if you do half a bag of vanilla latte and half a bag of pumpkin spice, then you'll have pumpkin latte. Ooh, yeah. Right, I've popped the ears on. I've just glued halfway down this ear so I can bend it over, keep that one up straight. You can put them there against the edge of the hat or you can put them a little bit higher up if you want to. I quite like them there. I think that looks quite cute. Okay. So is there anything else on him? I think that's it, isn't it? Now it's just the bow on the top. I'm not going to do everything all over because it's just repeating myself over and over again. Okay. So where's the bows? Here they are. I'm going to use this size bow here. It's the second biggest bow. 
Don Louisa said, can you drop that egg off at hers on the way home? <laughs> Not a chance, it's staying here. Is she on my way home? Hey, no, it's no. staying here with me. <laughs> Give <Get> over. <laughs> I've got my eye on that. that I, don't, I never get an Easter egg for Easter. Oh. This is mine. <laughs> Listen, you know I've got a chocolate problem. <laughs> Oh, when I do these bows, I just put sort of a fat sausage of paste across the top, and then as you flatten it, and what's this you get for? enough for you, Carol. You Is it? To, yes, if you oh, want you're not to use it. it on there. No, I don't think I'll have time. I don't know. Don't know. No, I don't know. Oh, we'll see. I might let you use it. Let's we'll see. <laughs> Seems this egg is mine. I might let her put it on my egg. You do brought so taking, much stuff, but there's too much. You're not taking this home, don't too you, much to do. Don't worry. <laughs> it's yours, Carol. It's mine, and I won't eat it till Easter either. I'll <laughs> save it. <laughs> Right, so I think I need a little bit more of that side. It's just gone so soft, it just sort of pushes away. Too much of it comes off, there we go. Right, that's ready to come out. And just bend and press over. That's the Squire's white chocolate and I've coloured it yellow. But now I want to brush it with some of this nice gold. This is the like bright gold luster. And this will take this luster really, really well. Um, did I have a piece of kitchen paper somewhere? Um, there should be a kitchen roll down there. If it's not, it's in the cupboard above the oven. Cupboard above the oven. Yes. Oh, this will do. Yeah. I just so, want to get gold luster Karen over your Karen uh, Naim has just board. said, if you want the blueberry and lemon, half a bag of blueberry and half a bag of lemon drizzle. Solved. And those ladies who want pink lemonade, two thirds of lemon drizzle, one third of raspberry ripple. Look at that, how bright that is. Beautiful. Very bright. Oh, that's our gold. Yes. <laughs> I'm going up, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's our gold, our wonder dust. Yeah. And if you wet it with rejuvenator, it's even nicer, Karen. Oh, right, well, I'll do it next. I'll do it with rejuvenator next. But you see, I've, da I've put the brush in here and dabbed it into the lid and dab it off a little bit so I don't waste, you so know. So there you go, Karen's using much. our wonder dust for you there. So I didn't even recognise it myself. I went, oh, that's beautiful. Because it's on the yellow as well. If you do, like when you're doing silver, if you do it on grey or you do gold on yellow, it really mm -hmm. brings it to life as well. It's nice when you lustre it, but when she wets it in a minute with some rejuvenator, it's even nicer. Let's put some of that in. I'll have to show, I'll show you ladies my cake I made yesterday so you can see the colours. Try a bit more powder in there, probably put it on too thin. yesterday, Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, that brightens it up again, mm. doesn't it? Even yeah. more. Wow. So, you just got to be careful when you touch painted um, items because it will come off. The alcohol just evaporates and the powder's just sat yeah. on the surface, really. Yeah. So, it will sort of come off on your hands. Oh, there it is. Under my nose, dried up. Okay, I've got just enough, I think, to hold it in place. Looks nice with a gold bow. Mm -hmm. Very Ooh, smart. I've got a gold bow on me. Yeah. I've got a gold bow on me egg. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we? Which one? one? If you like. Above. Yep. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Beautiful. So if you can use your imagination, it will end up looking like this one. I'll show you the little bunny rabbit now as well, little finishing touches there. Oh, we are this way. There we go. <laughs> I was going to that one. There we are. Okay. Um, on there, you'll see some little lilac flowers around there. See one at the bottom down here. That is just the way I did the daffodil, but just nothing done to it. I've just put a yellow centre in and done the lilac paste to make little blossoms. Okay, so that's beautiful. That's him finished. Mm. Or nearly finished. There's so those are the back. purple <laughs> blossoms. Are they on the in the mould? That's yeah. That's yeah. what I did. You know the way I did the daffodil. Oh yeah. That's it without anything done to it. It's just just the, in there. Yeah, just the Brilliant. blossom off there. Super okay. duper. Okay. So if you want the little chocolate rabbit as well, there's a little. This is the woodland animals. Yeah, we've never really showed this mould. Yeah, off, have we? but it's another one with so many things yes. on. You know. Yeah. There's hedgehogs, fox, a deer, yeah. owl, squirrels. It's a nice big mould, this one. I've got to be honest, in all the lives that we've done, I don't think you've ever used it. No. And I think it's it's a live that it's it's a it's a mould that should be used really. It comes out with all those little um it's a mould that's all those little add-on characters. You may not mm -hmm. use all of them, but you might have a cake and think, oh, oops, 
do you know what i just need that on the side <laughs> of it and it'll be in these woodland animals one yeah it's great it's useful for so many things this one but i'll do that little bunny rabbit there let's put some cornflower in tap him out right this is the um renshaw's paste so and the bowl and the bow mold the bow mold mm -hmm. that Karen uses That's has got all the different size bowls. This is a fabulous mold. Five. I've got this one and I've used it loads of times. So easy for making bows. Yeah, five different. Donna Louise Andrews, sorry, it's my egg. It's not coming your way. <laughs> I've gifted it myself as a present. <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally ever keep anything. I always give everything away. But this, this Easter egg, even Karen's not getting to say it's coming my way. Sorry. Right, so I've pushed the paste in. Did you use marshmallow sugar paste, Karen? It's the um, Renshaw's chocolate again. Oh, no, no, to make your basket weave. Oh, sorry, the basket weave. That was the Renshaw's chocolate as well. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, well, that's really nice, that stuff. Anyway. Yeah, I think I added some sugar paste to it as well to make it go further oh. on that one. Yeah, I did. Oh. Yeah. Or whatever it is, it's all chocolate and it's mine. Oh, just pulled his ear off. Right, let's fix his ear. I don't even know when I last. I don't even know when I last got an Easter egg. Mm -hmm. I'd probably say it might have been twenty, thirty years ago. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh. Right, so bunny rabbit is ready to come out now. Press really hard, and then just loosen him up, turn him over, and push him out. He's so cute. Oh. Oh, he's lovely. Okay, and then we can colour, dust and colour him. So, he wants pink, 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 pink candy. These girls are really naughty. They're trying to wind me up and oh. talk about Monday's conversation. And one lady oh. just said, and she's the troublemaker of the group, Geraldine Allen. Mm -hmm. Notice, ladies, Carol McFarlane dare not read out any comments regarding Monday's conversation. She doesn't quite say that. I've had to divert it a little bit. <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> John will be watching. We'll be in big trouble. I have heard. Did you hear about <laughs> yes. it? Yes. <Yeah. laughs> I'm going to paint the nose, the rabbit's nose, so it stands out. I've just put the powder dry on his paws and in his ears but we'll give him a little pink nose okay and then can you just show him that bow mode yeah the bows bow mode again. yeah this is amazing if you don't know how to make molds at uh, bows which I, I i can but i don't like making them use this it's brilliant the the, the size range is quite different there's that little tiny one there uh -huh. and this great big one <laughs> yeah. so that's the size i used on the egg that one um but they're all really handy really really useful they're nice and big you know easy to use what was i doing then white white in the eyes um alcohol well, thank you to liz not ray mosley and jill cook thank you why what they're saying thank you Paul. i'm just saying thank you cause... why what they're saying to you they're picking you up again yeah they're your, they're your only fans them aren't they and you've got <laughs> debbie hargreaves over here he's a fan of yours <laughs> but i think you might have gained a few more fans tonight simon with that beard oh. look how nice i've been to you see now if you don't if you kept that beard in, under control we'd have been all right me and you wouldn't we <laughs> hey? i've had to live with this so you're not all right no we are all right but I've, you, you forced me to live with this ginger green orange colored beard You're that's very weird what looking. color is going to arrive every day yeah exactly <laughs> uh, i'm painting the rabbits the bunny's eyes in when you paint the eyes in always paint them looking up or down left or right okay never never in the center I can't really show this very well. all right let me lift him up now when you're doing the eyes, eyes up. are both eyes doing the same yes <laughs> to the left or the right <laughs> yeah never straight ahead because they yeah. just look odd they just look like they're startled like <laughs> or shocked or something so it's it always weird. looks nice if you do them looking one way or the other it is weird when they get the eyes and they put one eye to right to the right and yeah. one to the left yeah they put them both oh. in the middle <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna put a little tiny dot of white in as well i'll lift this up in a second and show you because it makes all the difference when you do eyes just put that little dot of white in it really brings them to life. Where are we? Oh. Ooh, 
<laughs> yeah, so you see the difference that makes? Just that little dot of white, okay? He's so cute. Okay, and then he could stand up wherever you want on your egg. Oh. You could put him really close to your gnome or just stand him up at the front. Now, he isn't dry, really, I should have let him set. So I think I might just lean him against the gnome. Uh, why have I not had an Easter egg? Because nobody's ever bought me one. I, didn't, I had Easter eggs when I was a little girl, but you don't get them when you're older, do you? Do you get bought Easter eggs, Karen? Not very when often. When did you last get bought an Easter egg? I have, I don't know. I've don't not know. been bought one. don't know, not for a while. The kids bought me them when they were younger. Yeah, yeah. But I've not had one since I yeah. got older. Yeah. You just get forget them. But having said that, I don't <laughs> buy the kids Easter eggs here. <laughs> no. There you Shall go. There we go. They get too many, so I, yeah. I just send money donations yeah. to them. Yeah. And then the mum's just buying yeah. one big Easter egg. Okay, so I'll go through some of the others and just show you some of the other things that I've got with me. I haven't got time to do all of them, but it just gives you an idea. I'll show some of them already made and done, so you can see what to, what you can do with them. Um, oh, right, this one. This is the farm animals mould, okay. And you've got a little duck, a horse, a lamb or sheep, a cow and a pig. But this little, Just to you a little bit. chick, this little chick is really nice for cookies and things. Oh, he's got cornflour all over him. He's been a bit heavy handed. Let's, there's a little cookie there with the chick on. Oh, you've got another fan, Simon. Donna Louise Andrews loves you. <laughs> <laughs> or you could use, I haven't got the sheep. I might make the sheep actually, because that's a yeah. nice quick, easy one. And it's something really I've never nice. Seen the sheep being it's made. gorgeous. Yeah. It's really nice for Easter. Um, so I'll do a little sheep in a minute. Um, yeah, but there you can see, you can do like little cookies, just iced cookies. And he is actually made on this one that Alice did. Okay. I love that. Isn't that cute? That? That I back. love the colours on it. Yeah, that's nice, isn't really it? Really nice, cute yeah. colours. Yeah. Bit to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So you can see the chick there decorated. Okay. Now that is a chocolate egg here. That is chocolate egg. But it's been covered in thin sugar paste. And then the little dots, so it looks like the Cadbury's mini eggs. It's just um, water, powder colour mixed with water and flicked with a brush at yeah. the egg to give that speckled look. And this is a Cadbury's cream egg, again, covered, ah, covered yeah, with sugar called? paste. Oh, yeah. And, and there's our little bow off the bow mould there. <laughs> the bow, yeah. Okay, yeah, little bow <laughs> off the bow mould. Um, and then the daffs, the little daffs around here are the ones that I showed you wow. earlier on the, the different ones that are on the Easter cookie mould, which is on there, the top left corner. So that's quite nice to do. That's a nice Easter mould because that basket there, you can sort of mix and match things. Like the bunny here that's over a carrot, you can just mould the bunny, mould the basket and put it in the basket. You no, know, or put little mini eggs yeah. in the basket. You can do that in sugar paste, or you can mould. You know, make the cookies, make Easter basket when cookies. When Kevin brought this mould out last year, she showed you loads of ideas. It was fabulous. Yeah, I thought go, I might have still had some of the cookies, but go I didn't. Back and, go back and have a look on yeah. our YouTube channel. It's just, good um, that one. It's just really put nice. um, Karen Davies in and go back, and you'll see them. She'll look at yeah, look at them. Yeah, it's nice that one for Easter. And I don't know. Did I show them the? I didn't show them these cakes before. I don't think did I? close up I'll bring one forward and explain about them we'll get this one yeah she hasn't showed you these cakes these cakes are beautiful look at this I love this isn't this gorgeous so there's one Do of the, the thumbs up for this the Easter, the Easter cakes the Easter gnome cake okay they're just all done in sugar paste and I was saying to Carol before this here looks like it's piped for the eggs to sit on that's actually the gnome's molded leg just molded and put in a circle for the egg to sit they on. Absolutely love it. Isn't okay. it pretty this? So wouldn't this make a beautiful little girl's oh, cake? Yeah, oh, in the fact, top. a girl's cake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My birthday in two weeks, girls. <laughs> Who's gonna make one? <laughs> but we've done them in pink, blue, and green. I'll just bring the blue one over as well. Show you the blue one as And nice this is stunning. Bright, bright I think they make cake. lovely baby cakes as yeah, well, don't they? Yeah. Look yeah. at that. Isn't yeah. that gorgeous? There you go. I love the mint green on it. Mm. The colours are nice. Down, yeah. Okay. She's got the mint green on it. I, I absolutely love it, Karen. So clever. Yeah, the nice. You could have these like as uh, gender reveals, like your green one in oh, the back yeah. there. The <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Big, the big one at the back yeah, there. Yeah. That could be a gender reveal. Yeah. Nobody knows what it is, do they? <laughs> That's true. 
Yeah, so I'll make this little lamb, I think, because he's nice. <coughs> Will you all stop piece. bragging about your Easter eggs? I don't get them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get me wrong, when I was a little girl, I did get Easter eggs. I remember, because we, mm -hmm. because I had three sisters, my dad used to go mad because of all the eggs that we got. And then when my children had them, I, you know, when you for time all the aunties and everybody's brought them, and you've got four kids. Yeah. The kitchen would be lined up with oh, like yeah, fifty yeah, Easter yeah. eggs. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And then as we've mm -hmm. got older, to be fair, I don't buy my grandchildren Easter eggs. As I say, the kids say that they have too many sweet things, so I just put money in their bank account, and then their mum goes and buys an Easter egg from all of us. Mm. But I never get one back. Sometimes I get them like a little little Easter egg, mm. and then a T-shirt with something on like Thomas the Tank or something oh, no, I can't even remember when I last yeah. had an Easter egg something else little egg um, or something I do else. but I do these these are the devil these things and they put them at the checkout at the till don't they <laughs> they are cream eggs mm -hmm. and even if you go in the news agents they're there aren't they yeah. lurking yeah. looking at you yeah. so my straight mom, from Christmas my mum used to work in Cadbury's on Did the you? Wirral yeah, yeah. And, um, she used to bring home you know all the rejects yeah so oh, we used to have one of those that. after school every day. Did you? It's no wonder my teeth have gone. Oh, don't tell me that. I've been making trips to Capri's in uh, Liverpool. Yeah. Anyway, there's the paste in for the lamb, okay? Or sheep. I've pressed really firmly. Just turn it over and press and out he comes. There we go. He's nice, isn't he? Nice even before he's dusted and painted. Okay. You can do like the black sheep as well. You can do, you know, put the different colours in or paint him. That looks really, uh, really cute. Now, I'm limited with the brushes I've brought with me. So, I'm going to get his ears and his cheeks. And um, how much is the gnome mould, Karen? Um, 20.99. 20.99. And you will notice that um, Karen has had to put an, a price increase up. PME have had to. Sugar flare out. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone's put prices increase it's up. And I will tell you what it, it is. It's all to do with the shipping. The shipping has gone crazy around the world. And to be fair, I think we've all suffered through COVID this year. And, and we had to pay extortionate prices to get everything in. Every, everything's so gone up. I've had emails off every supplier telling me they've had to put the prices up. So you'll start seeing my prices go up as the stock has gone out of stock. The new stock comes in. Then it starts all being adjusted and going up. So there's not there's not big increases. But I have to say, unfortunately, the every supplier is having to do it. And a lot of it is to do... With all the new custom charges, all the new shipping charges, the fact that there's not many flights <laughs> for getting things over, it is crazy. It's just, it's funny, isn't it? It's like everything seems to go up at once, yeah. doesn't it? Everything. Heating bills, rent, everything. Nothing ever goes down. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Well, we had all our, we had all our ice and sugar bags delivered. Yeah. And John, John knows what the price is when they come in via customs. Yeah. And this time they came in and there was a £700 increase. Mm. And we don't know mm. why. But what we think is, is that they, we normally fly them in. And this time, I don't think they, they got driven in. Mm. I don't know they got driven in, but they went into Germany. Yeah. And we think that the extra price came up because of the Brexit. The it's been charged from coming from Germany. Yeah. Well, like double. Yeah, exactly. Oh. It's always unexpected things, isn't it? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh. Right, so I'm just giving him some grey feet. I can't remember what colours to paint this little lamb, to be honest. So... And then he just needs a little white dot again. I've muddled up all the brushes. Just clean that off. And just a little bit of white. Slightly pink, but no one will notice. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, where are we? <laughs> there we are. I'm just reading Geraldine Allen's comment there that she bought, bought a whole box of 48 cream eggs. But I remember they used to sell them like in egg boxes, didn't they? Oh, like yeah. Like 12s yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I used yeah. to buy them. Yeah. When I was younger, I could eat them for yeah. fun. Oh. This is definitely my cream egg, but... Yes, you can have it, Carol. Don't worry. <laughs> Listen, I've had a lot of stress today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh dear, I was just going to show you these I've got ducks. To be awake all night. As well, these little chicks or ducks. This is the Easter chick mold, um, which is this one here. So you can see the large chick. And the small chick, okay, and you get a little basket there, mini Easter basket, a little chicken and egg that is breaking out of an egg, and then two little Easter eggs on that mm -hmm. one. And that there again, another that's another one you can do the cookies with, Easter yeah. cookies. And then there's Easter bunny as well, little mm -hmm. bunny there. I'll do him, he's nice. Let's make him show you that one. Okay, because I've got this brown, which is very dry now, but uh, well, let's use this one. Because I forgot to wrap it up. I'll do the bigger bunny so you can see it easier. Put the corn flour in. Oh dear, that bag's come undone. I've only just filled that. I've overfilled it probably today. So we just soften that up. Get it nice and smooth before it goes in. And then do a sausage. And start to press in into the ears. There's a lot of people talking about how the prices have had to go up through shipping. Mm -hmm. And um, Breeders just saying that her son has had to put extra prices on every load mm -hmm. to allow for the trucks to return back to Europe, haven't they? Mm. It's crazy, isn't it? I do, I do agree with it, Viv. Everything's gone up except the wages, but I've got to be honest, it's really <laughs> hard enough as it is. <laughs> I think with all the extra prices, I think when you're when you're buying stock in, and how everything has really gone up, and you're trying to still be price competitive, it's really hard then to say, let's give the staff some more wages. Right, I ran out of the light brown. I've just added some dark brown behind. No one will see it. It's fine. Turn it over and press. And there's our bunny. Okay. Mm. <laughs> ah, that's very, very cute. Yeah, he's nice. Very now, very quickly dust him. I'll be putting some more Coming. of the Squires Corifoam in stock after the live. I am, I do, I can't, I'm not going to ever sleep tonight. I'm very stressed. So yes. I'll be updating the website mm. after. So if you want to place your order in case you're worried about anything of it going out of stock, do that and then give me a cut, give me till midnight tonight and I'll have other things back on the website, uh, back in stock. So then you can just do it then as a click and collect. And all you need to do is if you do a click and collect, you then in the notes section put please add to my previous order number and then put the order number. If you don't put that, the office, the office is not mine readers. What they will do is they'll dispatch your order and that one will sit on the shelf on click and collect. So make sure that you definitely put please add to my previous order. So the Coraform I will put into stock after the live. Um, I've got to help Karen load up her van. So that'll take me half an hour. A little bit of a clean down and then I'll be sat on the computer for a few hours. Gosh, do you ever sleep? <sighs> I'm, too, I'm too busy looking at me freaking scammer for the moment. Oh yeah. Oh. Ugh. Right, I'm giving this bunny some eyelashes. Normally I would use water. I would say don't use alcohol because it dries too quickly on the brush. When it, the brush is this little and thin, by the time you mix your colour and go to paint, it's dry and gone. So, but that worked out. That was okay. okay. If you want any very tiny, fine brushes, we've just put them back in stock on the website. We sell them in packs of five, but they're really very, very fine. So they're just little, they're little cheapy brushes, little set of five. And um, they're in sets of five and they're perfect for your eyes and your little tiny dots. They're really very, very fine. And there we've got a little pink nose and then a little dot of white again in each eye. Can't forget that. It's a bit pinky, but. And if you didn't want to use paint, you could always use your callig calligra pen. The calligra pens are back in stock by Fractal. Do you ever use those pens, Karen? Yeah, when you use pens, they'll let the figure dry. Yes, exactly. Because it sinks in, doesn't it? It's so yeah. annoying if but you don't But with the, remember. With the calligra pens, you don't have to, you know that. Oh, no, I didn't no. know. No. So with all your other pens, you have to wait for them to dry, but with the calligra, you don't have to. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Now, I was going to... Have you got any small curved scissors? Uh, curved scissors. Yeah, small curved small scissors. scissors. But I don't think I've got curved. Yeah, if not, I thought I've brought mine with me, but I don't think they're here. I haven't got curved. You're going to have to curve them yourself. <laughs> I 
I've just got small scissors. Yeah. You can I'll try. Thank you. Curved scissors. <laughs> yes, I have got curved scissors. Yeah. When You're just going to have to yeah, work with it. I do fluffy. Sometimes I make these animals sort of fluffy. So the best way is with curved nail scissors. These are straight, and it will still work. But yeah. curved just makes it so much easier. Ouch. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> But you see, it does it though. Yeah, it will. Yeah, that's okay. And you sometimes I just do like little areas, you know, like just the top of mm. it's a teddy bear, just the top of the head and the edge, the corners, the outside corners of their ears. And that works really well. Just got to watch I don't snip my hands. And not to touch the eyes where I've painted because, like I said earlier, that is just dry powder now on that eye. It's not, um, but if it was wet, it would still smudge anyway, wouldn't it? Somewhere, did I have a little board? No. Oh, got a big board, that'll do. It'll be better than nothing. Be easier on there. These are very posh scissors. Like guitar. They're nice, aren't they? We sell them as well. <laughs> oh, very nice. Um, some of you are asking about the sugar and crumb scrapers and the pink boards, ganache plates. And other things they did arrive in the warehouse today and I've not had a chance to update the stock but I will update it after the live so just give me a chance after the live give yourself half an hour go and have a cup of tea and then you'll start seeing things upload I might have to get Simon to help Karen do the car and I'll jump on updating stock mm -hmm. yeah well I'm nearly finished now anyway I'll just finish this little bunny let's put it down here and snip I'm usually quicker than this. When I've got the curved scissors, I just go for oh, it. Stop like... moaning about the curved scissors. <laughs> stop blaming your tools. Blaming the tools, yeah. yeah. Blaming Bad the work, tools. Go. Bad These work, little scissors work. are great. <laughs> <laughs> they are. The real... Do you know what? They're the really fine points. Mm -hmm. That's the good thing. That Even though they're not curved, that's... see how fine they are. Brilliant. Really fine point. So that is making it easier. But I'm just being extra careful because I'm not so used to them. If anything, anybody wants to order anything, everything is on our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. It's why Karen comes here and does demonstrations for us because we support Karen. She supports us. So, um, you know, everything everything that she's got is on the Sugar and Crumbs uh, website. It's either in the new section or if you go to Karen Davies brand on our website, it's all there for you. And... Are we going to have the Wonderlust? The wonder, the wonder Dust is on the website. It's in the new section, okay? So it's in the new section, and um, I've put it on special offer on at the moment. So they're on the website. I told you I'd win it with John. <laughs> now the feet, the big paws here. I'm just going round the outside edge. You don't want to snip, you know, on underneath the foot here where the pads are. You just leave those plain so that's i'll take it off there because the reflection oh yeah better there i can see better yeah, yeah. that's better yeah yeah okay so cute. they're really really cute so the um that what cut it what let me just see what she just said here mm -hmm. um it's not that way a minute oh, i've lost it now and that i did that really quickly if you take what your time did, what cutter did you use for the background to the chicks please so oh right, those, one. yeah, these chicks here, the grass, that's off the wild meadow, I think, the grass, yeah. but that's quite easy to do yeah. without the mould, and that is a piece of the wild meadow, Yeah, it's like wheat or something, and there's a little mini so easter egg there, sorry, yeah. But to be <laughs> fair, you what could you? use that little beard a bit effect that you've yeah, got yeah, on your, Yeah, yeah, the beard would do, your, um, yeah, the beard your, does really good grass. Mold, isn't it? <laughs> Makes really good grass. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, <laughs> even, yeah. You can even just, you know, roll a strip and trim it with a cutting wheel or something to make mm -hmm. it. But, um, yeah, that's a nice, easy way with the beard or the wild meadow. It's really good. The only, I don't think I've shown you this one either, the chick have either cupcake I know, chick. I know some of you are asking for the cocoa form. Just give me a chance. I'll put it in stock afterwards. Seriously, don't mm -hmm. worry. I'll get it in stock. This chick as well, this is another nice one to snip. You know, to snip all the fluff on it and look, make a little fluffy chick. Now, this nice. chick mould is not on the website. I didn't even know he existed oh. until today. Is this your cupcake chick? Cupcake chick, yeah. So, I didn't even know this one existed until today. So, I will put this on the website, but it may not go on tonight, this one. I've really got to, I've mm -hmm. got to update all my stock from... Because I've had, to, I've had... I was updating stock just before we came in. So, I was updating PME. Mm -hmm. I've updated FMM. 
I've updated Karen Davies stock, all her Karens came in. Katie Sue stock's been updated. And I've got to update my pink board stock and um, some other some other stuff. So don't worry <laughs> girls, I'll be on it all night. Lot to do. Yeah. All right. So I think that's about it for now. If there's any more questions though, so these, we finish. So uh, these molds are all on our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. So Karen, just show them your new mold. This is your newest mold yeah. again. So this is Karen's newest mold. It's called the Nordic Gnome mold if you're looking for it you can go to the search bar on our website and type nordic gnome let me just get some yeah. corn flour out or if you go to brands <laughs> go to karen davies all her molds are there or if you go to what's new it's in the what's new on this one okay so they're all on there the easter chick the bunnies um they're all, all these molds are on there so they're fantastic <laughs> i just need to buy some more um modeling chocolate and i'll pop that into stock so uh, don't worry, it'll be fine. So like and share everybody. Please give Karen a big uh, round of applause. Let's get those love hearts going <laughs> and thumbs up and everything else. Because as per usual, when Karen's in the kitchen, she always does a great demonstration. A big thank you to Simon for his camera skills. I've been watching the camera tonight, watching him chase Karen round the board. <laughs> yeah, you haven't noticed him chasing oh, you around. No, the board. Well, he's really hard tonight, haven't you? I'm so used to sort of leaning for no doing this. Yeah, because that's what you have to do with your camera, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So it's just you forget. It's well, so he's hard. you've been like this. You've been like that. And it, he's like that with the camera, and he's oh, zoomed in, and he's I'm zoomed sorry, out. Simon. I've got, I've so got to sorry. be honest. I've watched him tonight. I thought, bless him. Oh, oh I'm in a really good mood with Simon tonight. I tell you. <laughs> So, uh, no, he always does a good job, unless he unless he doesn't turn the sound off when we're going live on Cake Flicks. So, you didn't uh, let it live, okay. yeah. The ten inch scrapers have arrived in the building today. I'll put them in stock afterwards. Uh, there we go. Flavored icing sugars will be in the next two to three weeks. Um, we've got very thin brushes for the eyes and dots. All Karen's molds are on the website. All the sugar flare colours are on the website. Everything's on the website, to be fair. <laughs> we just haven't got any chocolate, which I'll put that in afterwards. So, big thank you, Karen. Thank you oh, very you're much. Welcome. I enjoyed Remember it. Don't like and share. Yeah, don't forget to like <laughs> and share. The Caligra pens, all fractal stuff is back in stock. I put that in stock in the week. All the Caligra pens are in stock. The black, the white, and all the different colours as well. And... Um, what was Kerry Sarson on the bronze horse course? It says a large brush for the gold paint. Do you know which one Hannah means? She means get down to dear, get down to um, get down to Hobbycraft. You'll need to buy an art brush off Hobbycraft. So you'll need to buy a one inch brush off Hobbycraft or any art crafter's companion. They all specialize in those types of brushes, but you need a flat brush. Okay, I used to sell them, but I got mine from Australia and I'm not buying nothing from abroad at the moment. Uh, so a flat brush, make sure it's not animal hair, it's synthetic hair, okay? The funky scissors we sell on our website, just put uh, scissors or look under the Sugar and Crumbs brand. Are these molds available on the website? Yes, that's why we're here. <laughs> They're all on the website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Um, let's see what's going on here. Sorry, Karen, to leave you there because no, I'm going right. to leave you to say the goodbyes. One second. Um, for some reason, they've got onto a conversation about cheese and onion crisps. But I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Missed it. Um, let me just speed yeah. up some conversation. Oh, crikey, the comments were going fast tonight. Yeah, they're all saying great live, Karen. Thank you very much. Aww. So thank you, you lot, for joining us. Remember that Karen Griffiths is back in the kitchen tomorrow. We've got loads of Karens, haven't we? Very common. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Somebody started taking the mickey out of the name Karen, and I, I don't get it. I don't know Karen what either. Is. It's fantastic. Yeah. I've got loads of friends called Karen. There's you. I've got three ladies called Karen who work yeah. for me, and yeah. they're all amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So whoever came up with that one, I don't know. But I, I'm <laughs> all for Karens. They're brilliant. Mm -hmm. So um, thanks very much, Karen. Welcome. Next time Karen Davis is in, we're going to hers we're going to take it in turn going to each other's places so we're going to go to Karen's place next time and um, as I was about to say Karen Griffiths and Simon will be back in the kitchen tomorrow at half past 11 and they'll be doing all their <laughs> prize draws tomorrow and don't forget to give us the list then I'm mm. giving the list so um, you'll get it in the morning so um, what else was I going to say to you and then it's all the end then and we start again on Monday because oh, I'm taking yeah. Saturday off <laughs> and Sunday <laughs> I don't get sucked in someday, huh? <laughs>
Don't be giving me that rubbish shoe. You stay in bed till three o'clock in the day, don't you? Yeah, that works. But there you go, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> right, cheerio, everybody. Oh, Thanks thank for joining you. us. Fabulous night. Well done, Karen. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.